Crew Season Podcast. We are back again. This is episode 42. There you go. Kenny T is in the building. What's happening? OT is in the building. What's well, good? Y'all know the game. Smooth is in the motherfucking building. By the time I get to cuss again, <laughs> goddamn me, we back, baby. <laughs> Feel good, man. I'm D Trail AC. This is another episode of the Crew D- Season Podcast. The Crew Season. How you fellas doing on this glorious morning, man? Bro. Good I'm ready to just brother. get into this shit, man. Talk, pop my shit real quick, man. <laughs> Fuck all these nigga, man. They've been waiting on the show. I'm here to give them a show, goddamn me. I'm here. Feeling good, man. Well this rested. Is his own hype, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in his head Somebody's going Yeah Hell yeah I got a nigga on the sideline Jumping up and down I got another nigga going Go get that nigga Go get that nigga Jumping up and down <laughs> Nah man it's, uh, First and foremost uh, Again Shout out to Kennesaw State That was a hell of a experience man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love the show I love the show I hope y'all enjoy me though yeah. Shout out to JC Shout out to everybody out there That, that, that show love Man I was Man we enjoyed it for sure Um how did y'all boys think that the show went? Think it was good. I think it was cool. Even yeah, though it was, it was cool. It was cold as shit out there, boy. Ooh, Kenny, I was shaking like a stripper. Kenny was like, yeah, shaking like a stripper, like, yeah, shaking like a stripper in cold. Alaska. <laughs> yeah. It's cold as penguin pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that kid was like, yeah, you know, and, you know. <laughs> I think it was, it was like 55, 56. Man, over. it was like, nah, it was like 40 30, something. It was like 39. Was it 40? With, like a, 39. Yeah. with a, with a it breeze. Cold. It was cold. Damn. I mean, I know it was that cold. I know it was a cold. I know it was that cold. Yeah, yeah. And it started drizzling. Oh yeah, it started drizzling. Yeah, man, I thought it was over with right there. I was like, damn, we gotta wrap this thing on up. Well, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't hitch though. We didn't hitch. You know we, we felt was... it hit a little bit. We just kept it pushing. Yeah, that's that facts. Heat. Yeah, that's facts, man. I think it was, um, it was an interesting experience, man. Talking to people in their cars was real interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, because it was a drive-in uh, situation, so a lot of cars came out, showed love, and you know they was honking their horns and yelling out the windows and stuff. So mm-hmm. it was a little different than talking to you know. Uh, I guess you could see the fans like right in your face, so that was that was a little different. But as far as us, man, I think we, you know, I think we jumped in and did what we did. So exactly, um, the price of the brick has just went up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now nah, we're definitely looking forward to the next one. But we got a loaded docket today, man. Let's get. Ah, uh, where do we start, man? Uh, Shit. Do y'all want to dive into the, what they want to see initially, or no. y'all want to kind of hold no. off? No. Hold off just a little bit because because no. we. Cause we we do have to we do owe an apology to Smooth. We do. Who's oh, we? Oh man, well, we do. Who's we? I wasn't here. You wasn't here. I ain't giving no apology yeah. to but, nobody. But I owe a half Fuck apology him. because I didn't all the way disagree. I saw where he was coming from. I didn't all the way disagree. What was the problem? The problem was uh, at the time <laughs> we was talking about shoes and we was talking about Jordans compared to Yeezys. Mm-hmm. And he said, he said I give Kanye maybe less than less than five years before he pass up Jordan in regards to mine. We looking at him like. Yeah, get the hell up out of here You ain't nowhere close to that Or at least that's what I said And then two weeks later <laughs> Nigga struck a deal He worth 6.6 billion Is his net worth at this point mm, mm. So Smooth Smooth's right And again I'm a man <laughs> of my word I'm a man of principle I'm a man of morals hey. I can admit when I'm wrong oh, Fuck all that <laughs> You know, smooth with the fuck all. <laughs> I won't go throw it in my nigga's face. Can't man. give him the satisfaction. Because he, yeah. gonna, he gonna not let, he gonna live you down at all. Hey, man. Because, um, hey, the only thing, the, the reason why, I, the, the logic behind it, though, is Jordan is strapped to that deal only with Nike, yeah. exclusively with Nike, right? Kanye is not. So he can have his shoes with Adidas and his apparel come from Gap. Which mm-hmm. is two separate deals Which mm-hmm. one is gonna be lucrative Than the other one mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying So when, whenever he drops Something else Whatever the next brand Is gonna be It's gonna be with a different brand Which is gonna push mm-hmm. His net worth Another of uh, What Three four billion dollars mm-hmm. So that's why I was saying that okay. You get what I'm saying And at the same and, and time And at first It don't make sense Because no one's ever Done it that way no one's ever done it. If you get your shit, your shoes under Adidas or whatever it is, mm-hmm. you putting your apparel under the shit, you putting everything under the shit. Mm-hmm. Kanye ain't not like that. He going to chase that back. Oh, you, you, oh, oh. you want to work with me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? 200 million. No, no, no. I got, I got a billion over here. And they're going to give me a billion. And they're going to give me a goddamn 35%. Now, that's the thing. People can say what they want about Kanye, boy. That boy's a hell of a business. You man, know what I'm saying? Dog. That's a fact. I remember when that was maybe like about four years ago, he was like 50 million in debt or something. Now you up six point six billion. 
You got to be a hustler to pull something like that. Yeah, I'm saying. You know or you got to have the Kardashians to back mm. it. That's Two. That's real. Yeah, two. That's real. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think Kim fronted him about 200. Mm. Look what that 200 the, did, though. Mm-hmm. I could pay you that double and it still won't hurt me. Yeah. Well, the boy came up. But again, I'm a man of morals. Have no issues admitting when I'm wrong. I was wrong. The boy then came in. 6.6 6 billion. Now he's the richest entertainer, I think, in history, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he is. So black, shout out black to, entertainer in to history. business Kanye, not music Kanye. Yeah. Yeah, different ball game. <laughs> uh, man, we're going to stay in the music industry, man. Kirk Franklin, man. We got it. <laughs> His son a sucker, it, man. man. His son a sucker. Okay, we gonna we gonna just play the clip that initially dropped, and then we can unpack everything that happened or whatever. But uh, if you ain't son seen it by sucker, now, you've been living under a rock. Did you hear the cutoff though? I did. He just hung up the phone. And then we're gonna play. Do you know I have an older son named Carrie on Franklin? It's Kirk Franklin response. In May, you'll be 33. For many years, we have had a toxic relationship with him as a family. We've tried for many years through counseling, through therapy, to try to rectify this private family matter. Recently, my son and I had an argument that he chose to record. I felt extremely disrespected in that conversation and I lost my temper. And I said words that are not appropriate. And I'm sincerely sorry to all of you. I sincerely apologize. I want you to know as a father that during that conversation, I called the family therapist and got that therapist on the phone to try to help. He never played that part of the recording. Mm -mm. I'm not perfect. I'm human and I'm going to make mistakes and I'm trying to get it right. Please keep me and my family in your prayers. Okay, thoughts, man. Stop with that bullshit. <laughs> keep me and my family in your prayers, all right? Fuck all that. You said what you had to say. I you understand the politics. You, 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 you meant what you no. had to say. Hey, I understand That's why I couldn't be no goddamn no. celebrity because I'm not about to sit here and apologize. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not about to apologize when I'm right. Obviously, you if you really listen break to your it, neck. it's real. <laughs> break That's real. Fucking. But if you, li- if you listen to it, like when I first heard it, I was like, damn, but I heard the click. So I heard when the nigga... Shut off what he said to him to make him say that. Right. I don't care you know about none of that. He so only say, played a like, part where Kirk Franklin was going off. So yeah, that's it. he said something. Yeah, exactly. To make exactly. Him say, Ain't nobody just gonna come on there and just start flipping out on you exactly. just exactly. instantly. Exactly. Then, then you 33 years old asking for some money. You talking about it's been a family. Hey, I'm sorry. I got a son right now. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I'm gonna let the people know right now. If my son is not with the program, he gotta go. <laughs> Change your last name. You are not of me. You know what I'm saying? You are not of me. Kirk yeah, Franklin. Man, said, fuck all Don't that. let your bloodline bind you. I can't when, once you become a man or a woman, I can't make the decisions for you. I can't baby you, baby. I got shit to do. Especially person like Craig Franklin, he got a lot of people depending on him. Mm-hmm. So if you're not with the program, you in the way. Whether that be kids, wife, Goddamn grandma, got, it don't matter who it is. You know, if you not with this, we not nothing. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. people get caught in the trying to save their kids, bro. You can't save a motherfucker that don't want to save themselves. You can't save them. This nigga sitting over here at 33, year old, three, 33 years old recording conversations. Because he didn't want to give him some father. damn money. Come on, man. I ain't about to have your side. If I had a father that was a seven figure. No. What? But I don't it, want no they, money. Give me, nigga, put lazy. me in a position to be the man. They out lazy. They've been entitled and having, you know what I'm saying, the bread for so long. So it's like, why work? You know True. what I'm saying? And I don't, they, I, get, I don't, they get super lazy. They've I had everything want they want. I want to be the man. I want, I want to have that high you got. Nigga, put me in position. I want to be a producer. I want to be in the movies. I want to do it. Yeah, nigga. See that? You got to have work ethic. Yep. that. And that's the thing. But I, and, that's, and that's hard because they kind of start young on the cool. Like, you got, you got all that money as a young kid, and they doing whatever they want, however they want. 
they ain't seen their daddy struggle necessarily. No, no, it ain't that. It ain't that because that's the child that he divorced the moms and shit. But thirty three, I know. But at the same time, when he was a kid, Kurt Franklin didn't have it like that. He didn't he have was, it like that. Uh, he he was, th- he but was, you know, he was getting into it. He was getting into it, yeah. but he didn't have it. He ain't he ain't the Kurt but Franklin I, we know. He still didn't seen enough to you get understand. What I'm saying? He still so it's enough. like, come on, bro. Come yeah. on. Come that was on. interesting to me. I, I think like when I first seen the clip. I was like, uh, I'm I'm gonna hold off on reservation until I hear a little bit more of what's going on behind the scenes. Because again, you never know what's going on in people's households. Kirk Franklin is a pastor. Everybody's everybody loves him. You know, he got a story. He didn't overcame a lot to be where he is. So automatically, when something like this happens, people are gonna jump on his side. I was like, uh, mm. let's wait until some more information come out. Because again, it'd be a lot of parents that put on a, a image out That's in real. public That's true. and be mentally and physically and verbally abusing their kids. Mm-hmm. But when his sister came out, yeah, seen that. His family the came out, and his sister said, was like, "Bro, you know he'll do he'll do whatever, right?" But you asking for money, right? You're not asking to get put on no hustle. Now that right there made me like, okay, now it all makes sense now. Mm-hmm. Now that I can't ride with you on that again because I don't agree with laziness. I got a work ethic. I left the house when I was eighteen. I've never been back ever. I probably count on one hand how many times I didn't ask my parents for money. And it was in dire situations to where it's like, okay, I need it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But it, if I got $10, I got to stretch for two, three weeks. That's just what I got to do. Mm-hmm. But everybody don't have that type of mindset. You know what I'm saying? So I can't respect that hand out. Please, you, just because you got it, I deserve it kind of thing. Because, mm-hmm. again, I'm sure Kurt Franklin done put him in plenty of positions to get money, and he done fumbled the bag exactly. on it. Exactly. And now you want to come back around and just get the hand out. You don't, you don't want to learn how to fish. You want him to fish for you and put him in your bucket. No, that's not how... Life work And then for him To try to record that To try to make him look bad After that's the case I have zero respect for that mm-hmm. So um, And then I think it was crazy He had to come out And apologize he, for he cussing yeah. But that's the That's the area That we in right now Everybody yeah. feel like As soon as they make a mistake They gotta apologize Fuck that They ain't mm-hmm. gotta apologize We had a conversation That ain't no mistake though it's I'm not, telling you what's real It's not That's it Today that is not a mistake <laughs> By you cussing break his goddamn neck <laughs> that's, that's real <laughs> Your paper ain't never said I break my foot off in your ass or shit like oh, that. I didn't have like, that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> when I flipped my four wheeler, <laughs> what? Hey, what? <laughs> I was laughing. That is normal. <laughs> I'll beat your motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I shut up instantly. <laughs> I did, I never said that like that to me, boy. When he said that, I said, "Oh, <laughs> you can tell." You can, you can tell he was fed up too. I think it's just it. Break your motherfucking neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enough. That nigga said it in the past the voice. Hey, hey. Kirk Gangster, man. <laughs> I see. I see. That's plies on the you know know what what But yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. That's low key plies. They one in the same. That's for sure. Same. Boy, it's looking like, though, for sure. <laughs> it's funny, boy. I'm still laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat your motherfucker. That boy, just to say, you seen him get cussed out that and then rolled his four wheel off in the distance. Nah. Like <laughs> and when I tell you, Justin pulled off like one mile per hour, <laughs> like. He could have walked faster than he was pulling off on that phone. <laughs> he wanted to make sure you was good. For no, this. that shit was oh, <laughs> hung his boy out to dry. Left him there. Damn, Jay. Like how you how you get hung out to dry? How you get hung out to dry with your daddy, man? <laughs> hey, what y'all got going? What y'all got going? <laughs> God, that shit was crazy. We got to call Jay to uh, homie court for that, man. He left my boy. He just left my boy on stuff. What stuck, he man. was going to do? He supposed to at least stay. He got at least witness in, in case a murder happens. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh shit They're less likely To do some, some wild shit With somebody else in front <laughs> <laughs> You leave them off <laughs> Oh my god But yeah now nah, We saw that to say Man we riding with uh, Kirk man and, yeah. uh, and you know again I I hope that his son Somehow comes around Cause I don't, I don't like To see family Break up like that You know what I'm saying If if things can't be reconciled But if he's just That far gone Then you know I'm, I'm with smooth on that man Sometimes you just Gotta let people Learn the hard way And come back around And tell you you was right um, And that may be the case but I'm just praying You know I want to pray for them And I hope they can work that out Fuck that no peace man Don't let your blood <laughs> yeah, No peace No peace nigga. Okay man Let's uh Let's get to the jokes man Kevin Sanders recently uh Clip went out <laughs> What clip? Mm. <laughs> the Barry Sanders clip? <laughs> Barry Sanders You You're going 220 here. I weigh 210 and I'm 6 foot 4 You broke the first rule See you ladies don't mind Breaking the rules The men are visual the men want women that are fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. Now, I don't mind being the size of, I'm sorry, you're five foot eight? I'm five foot eight. You're about the size of Emmett Smith or Barry Sanders was. <laughs> you're running back size. You can hit the A gap like a motherfucker. Uh. All right. I 
Alexa. So don't come in here and talk about what men should not be able to do when they got to accept uh, somebody who can run out the power eye. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Wait, about that part. What? <laughs> you said you can ride the power out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he called a bear's tail. Let's get hit that. I ain't getting like a motherfucker. Oh, man. He said you built like Evan Smith and Barry Sanders. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Dude, this gotta be rehearsed, dog. No, There's no way. No, There's bro. There's no way he just coming up with that. Dog. <laughs> they gotta be calling in ahead of time. <laughs> I gotta play that one more time. <laughs> Start that shit over. Damn. Bro, he really told her that, bro. Start that shit over. Dog. Wow. Dog. 220. I weigh 210 and I'm six foot four. You broke the first rule. See, you ladies don't mind breaking the rules. The men are visual. Oh. The men want women that are fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. Oh. Y'all don't mind being the size of, I'm sorry, you're five foot eight? Oh, man. I'm five foot eight. You about the size of Emmett Smith or Barry Sanders was. You're a running back size. Okay. You can hit the A gap like a motherfucker. Yeah. All right. I accept. So don't that. come in here talk about what men should not be able to do when they wow. gotta accept uh somebody who can run out the wow. power eye. <laughs> okay. I mean I'm He said I can he did not have to do that, dog. He did not have to do that. <laughs> hey, cause she didn't. Hey, that's too far. He had to keep on going, for dog. Her, for her, for her, for that situation, that was too far. Cause she was saying, she said, "Okay, I accept that." Yeah, he, you know what I'm saying. He didn't have to put the high hike on it. Damn, damn, overkill. <laughs> <laughs> that was to finish her. He put the, hey, that nigga he didn't put, even have to put the that power eyes. She said, "Okay, I that accept nigga put that. the animatally, uh, the the, the animatally, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> on, what? On, on Mortal Kombat, that, that, when they do oh, not the, the uh, fatality, no, 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 they, do, they transform uh, annihilation. The, that, no, the animal. Annihilation. They turn into the animal. It's the animality or something like that. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. cool, whatever. He still didn't have to do all that. No, he did that to us. <laughs> he didn't have to say the power out part, and he damn sure he had to say the. <laughs> Dog, fair again. A lot of a lot of points that we could defend him on, but that that was a little too. His first point, his, <laughs> his first point was made. He yeah, had yes, a good yes. point made. Yes, but not the but the jokes. And the also, jokes was, the jokes was less. The power I and also they they weight distribute different than us, than us too. Mm-hmm. And he said, "Like she can hit the egg up." Red nigga see how you. That was fucked. You didn't take that before. You know what <laughs> it's like, like he said, you hit the hole like a motherfucker. Because <laughs> you, you know it's linebackers and hey, linemen. It's, it's heavy it's ugly a motherfucker. In there. <laughs> it's, it's ugly in there. Hey, that is hilarious, man. Uh, again, man, um, I don't even oh, know what man. to say. <laughs> I can't defend that dog. Yeah, I can't ride with him on that one, dog. <laughs> with that shit I can agree with the first part, and I can agree with his, you know, what he was, his point he was trying to make on oh the first Lord. part. But once she said, "Okay, I acknowledge that, I accept that," the power eye and the hot hype is is it's too far, dog. <laughs> That was too far. She say she'd be like a Hall of Fame running back, dog. What? <laughs> Two Hall of Fame <laughs> running backs, so crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so so yeah, so they was in a group chat. They was discussing things again. Context is important. We don't have what led up to that point, but just based on seeing that clip alone, we you know what I'm saying that's that's first time I can say, all right, man, he 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 went a little too far. It's like he, you know he kind of performing now, kind of. Thing. And I, I mean I can't blame him because it's getting them followers and subscribers. Hey, you know what's whatever, crazy? But, they were just talking about like for a whole two years he was up there just bashing dudes like doing the same thing. He was. He was. Yeah, he was. He, and. Mm-hmm. And the women didn't say a word about oh, it. Of course, they not. didn't say a word about it. Mm-hmm. He wasn't getting no views or nothing. But the moment he started getting women on there and trashing them, bro, oh, it's, hell, bro. it's a it's a problem. And then his popularity went. He up. saw the niche. He saw he saw what the people needed, and he fed that, and he saw the traction. You know what he got. So I respect him, man. He's, I respect the hustle. He's still feeding it. Exactly. That, that those that was legendary. legendary. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never. Yeah. I ain't never ever. <laughs> he was in the moment right there. That's Shit. Right. Five eight, eight two lines. twenty. Yeah. So we gonna. Uh, and like, I'm not saying if you five eight two twenty that you fat. Okay. Nah. Yeah. No. 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 We ain't saying that. But uh, just the delivery, how he delivered that was hilarious. I think people listening are gonna be laughing when they hear that. But if they understand what he's talking about, yeah. If they understand what he's talking. But do y'all? But but y'all saying y'all do agree with the notion though that looks. Yes. 
Yeah, as far yeah, as men. Oh, oh sure. Yes. What do you say? Fit, oh, okay. uh, fit, fit feminine, feminine, friendly, and... cooperative. Yes, yes. absolutely. For that's sure. all facts. That's that's exactly what what a man wants is what y'all. Even out of shape man want a fit a foot a uh, fit woman. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah, that's well, and, that and that's crazy because fit women will take an out of shape man. Yep. True. We just want something True. that's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, with, with men, it ain't it ain't much pressure for us to be in shape, and that, and I don't, I don't I don't really like how that's set up. To be honest, <laughs> I that's feel like true. that's unfair. But I feel like they don't. The I feel like the women kind of don't care on the, the cool. Game. As long as you got money, you can and you can because you got to realize for a woman, it ain't. It, I'm talking smooth. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Damn. But I'm cutting your ass off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but for a woman, like the he's visual, still gonna go anyway. Like, God damn, damn, right. I, was done. Talk, nigga. I was done. He just was talking over me. I just told y'all, fuck him. What y'all thought I was playing? We only get Otis to talk like every two seconds. God damn. Well, he gonna wait another four seconds for me to get done. Fuck you. All smooth. right, go ahead. <clears throat> nah, but for real though, uh, for a woman, like a lot, a lot of shit, like on the back end for her is the visual shit. That's the back end. On the front end is how you make her feel. For real though, for us, money. it's visual off the rip. Yeah, but for her is how you make her feel. That's it. True. I think I think visual is, is kind of like on the front, kind of a yeah. It, it's kind of, but, but it's it just the it's number not, one it's, thing. It's not as big as how men take it. Exactly, it, it ain't the number one thing because they they operate all, on emotions. You just if can't you be can, if you can ugly pull to them a woman. Yeah, that's true. If you look decent, well, you, I mean, you okay? Well, I mean, if book. you don't look good, you better have some money with you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you better but they have also, one or the other. but they <laughs> also, <laughs> but I think part of that too is because they self esteem. But we, that's another topic. That's something else. So. Yeah, 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 we, we need to take it off the topic. Yeah, yeah, we got to take it out. Okay, man. Now for the moment that everybody came here to see me. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, well, yeah, T-Brown I told you. Yeah, eyes, yeah. First you thing. know, I see you. <laughs> oh, my bad. Kenny and Pandering Derek Jackson. Okay. Oh, first of all, don't put me in transition. Look at the transition. Look at the transition. Don't do that. Don't do that. <clears throat> okay, baby. for the for the listeners that aren't aware, Derek Jackson is a famous YouTuber. Um, he's a part of this blue pill community. I think that they speak of a lot of those guys. Uh, often side with the woman. Oftentimes, throw men under the bus. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and the advice that they give women, right, doesn't. Doesn't much matter what happens in a relationship, whether she's wrong or he's wrong. It's always what that man could be doing better and never what that woman could be doing better. It's always a situation where, you know what, uh, you deserve better than that. You know what, that man should bring you his whole check. Why? Because you the queen and you wear the crown and you is this and you is that. That man is not appreciating you. You should leave that man and never look back and never get him another chance. You never drop, drop your head, never come down from off the throne. You deserve this. You deserve that. You don't have to bring much to the situation. It's that man's job to approach you. It's that man's job to set the house up and set everything up, take care of all the finances, all that. All you got to do is show up. <laughs> Essentially That's the theme I get from As I'm watching these older clips Right So Maybe about a week ago Week and some change <laughs> By now A woman comes out Says that He's cheating on his wife He comes out And denies it <laughs> Um, And I think he ended up Taking that video down But uh, Then he ends up Copping to it somewhat But not all the way He yeah. says well, Hold on hold on You're missing a point <clears throat> You're missing one <clears throat> he announced his book before that. All right, but keep true, <laughs> true. The whole interview while he was talking, the book was right there on the desk, and he kept on referring back to it, selling his book. This thing is a villain. <laughs> um, but essentially, he says what happened was this: him and his wife was going through things. They were separated. He goes into his black book with his old women in it, hits up an old trusty, dusty, faithful. Uh, which he says that they didn't have sex. That was the first lie that caught me off guard, and I just was like, fam, shut up. But he kept, he continued to lie. He said, you know what, the nature of our relationship was sexual, and uh, but we never had sex, actually. He said he paid $1,200, sent her $1,200 to fly her and her two homegirls out to party. Is that the third whole time she was there? She was taking pics of him in his crib while he's walking around his crib, uh, taking pics of him in the bed, all that. Even though they never had sex together. Yeah. So, um, around that time, bro, immediately after that or so, he uh, reconciles with his wife and finds God. Turns his life over to God. Apparently what what he said. And um, at that point, he says he hit her up and say, look, this ain't right. Um, I'm going to cut this off right here. Bye, bye, bye. We done. And then... 
her response to that, according to him, is to leak these pictures, leak these text messages, leak all of this evidence about him cheating. But he says that it happens at the time where they was on break. So he apologized, but he apologized for the fact that he, quote, unquote, even messed with the girl to begin with. Not the fact that he did nothing wrong or not the fact that he cheated on his wife, but that uh, he should have never reached out to that girl in particular or should have never been, like, entertaining women. He should have been working on himself while they were separated until the divorce was finalized. When y'all first heard that news or that seen that little clip, what was y'all response to that? Time out. Y'all comparing me to this nigga? I feel very disrespectful. <laughs> very <laughs> disrespectful. My name is disrespectful. Y'all know I don't wear like that. Come on, man. Bro, he got chicks se- taking se- pictures. Second of all, it wasn't one woman. It was two. That's true. And the second one was reportedly... Pregnant. Oh wow! I heard it was three. Oh, it was three now. Yeah, now. So you know, keep like on. in the last couple it, days. Yeah. Anyway, I just felt disrespected about that, Otis. You know, we don't really mean. That. <sighs> Damn. I gotta but, take the joke so little. Okay, so what was the? What was y'all in the same arena though? No. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> no, get these hands. <laughs> so what was the first thought that came to y'all head when y'all first seen this thing unfold? I say, boy, this boy, it, hey, that boy's a, a hell of a salesman. A, sm- a salesman gonna sell you some shit And then when you get off the lot I got his ass <laughs> I got it for 8,000 over I'm supervisor I'm, I'm employee of the month like- <laughs> And that's how he did Hey I'm, I'm getting that ass boy I'm gonna tell him about this relationship shit I'm gonna tell him what not to do But behind closed doors I'm on these hoes And the moment they get to finding out And all that type of shit I'm gonna have a book in the cup I think he. I think this was his plan all along he had a book out because you know it take you about six seven months to write the book. That's just what it is. Six seven eight months to write a book. This nigga like, was documenting everything he, he was, was doing. Do- you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be doing this. Let me write this down. Let me write <laughs> this down. Give me a book on what not to do <laughs> while he's doing it. So when it was time to release the book, he said, "Look, hey, 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 hey." He was paying the chicks. I know he was paying them all. But then it was time when it was time to release the book. He went to his gal. He went to his wife. Hey, look. I've been doing some things behind closed door. I'm silly, but whoop, get this money. Need, we need to make another million. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop paying these hoes. They're going to come out with these allegations and all this type of shit here. We're going to apologize for my mistakes. We are going to apologize hmm. for my mistakes. And then we're going to sell this book. So four days before everything came out, what do you want? Hey, my book coming in four days. Huh? That third day, what happened? Right before the, the book release. The girl start, you know what I'm saying, leaking all that shit and the whoop de woo. The day the book release, he put the video out apologizing. But I need y'all to go buy this book. Yeah, I know I'm a clown ass nigga, but my wife still love me. I need y'all to go buy this book. That's what he kept saying. The uh-huh. trials and tribulations that we've been through is in this book. <laughs> That you boy know. is a whole thing. And women was out here like, Come like on, glorifying this man. Oh yeah, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In the right. same time, they you. they looking at us uh, crazy. We giving you game. That's what I've been saying. We give you real game. We don't. We saying the shit that you don't want to hear. That's you the get problem. what I'm saying? That's the problem. And y'all buying into, into this shit that he doing. And y'all like buying Steve to these Harvey. pandering ass niggas. Like, no. bro, what y'all gotta realize is what we always tell y'all, motherfuckers. Niggas not perfect, man. Men are not perfect. They gon' fuck up, especially when you a man making some money, bro. I can care less if you. Goddamn a whole you can be the the top holiest person on the planet, bro. You start making some bread, you gonna have them shooting goddamn stones at that at that at that castle, nigga. And that castle ain't gonna hold up too much. It's gonna you gonna be tested, boy. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of men fold and we just seen one. Your savior. Scoop him up. <laughs> pick him up, Scoop dust him, him up. up. <laughs> I'm looking bad. I'm, I'm a, I, I never really listened to the dude's videos ever, honestly. So I really never knew what he said. But from when I just heard about the video and everybody talking about him, you know, he could just put pieces together of what he was saying. Now, was he wrong for saying what he was saying, what a man should be doing, you know, being faithful and all that stuff? Yeah, he was right about that. He, he was probably speaking facts of what a man should be doing, a perfect man should be doing, and what you should be accepted. Yeah, he's probably right about that, but his actions were different, and a lot of people move that way. A lot of people say he was right, but do the opposite. I mean, everybody's done that. So, I mean, I think he just, he's really an ain't shit nigga, to be honest with you, to have his wife up there looking like she just came out, just woke up that day, 
and put some clothes on. And he's well dressed and got her in there holding her hand and apologizing. And have her to be on on screen looking publicly humiliated. You know what I'm saying? You know, apologizing. And that's where I think it's that's where the it's almost like a publicity stunt right mm-hmm. there because now she's posting more videos, putting herself out there, and people starting to follow her more. Because at first, I don't think she was posting anything. Mm-mm. Yes, she was. Not too much though. They, like she on her was, page herself, but she to be was, a bunch of quotes. Was she always wearing that bonnet? She would post some dark. Was, was, she, was she always wearing that bonnet? Now every time I see her, she got that bonnet on. I think she yeah, she did because she was one time somebody called her like a. Like TD Jakes or something, because she had on like this vest outfit with with the pants. I, I, I and seen, shit like I that. seen that, yeah. But I mean, but just, she had she had that thing on. I, I, her, I, her, 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 um, crown of what she's crown of salvation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's making a lot of women. I'm not. It's not her. I don't. I don't want to blame her because that's what a lot of people are doing now. They're blaming her. They they got all the jokes about her. Every joke I've seen came out about what she's wearing, how she looked, mm-hmm. how she's dressing herself, how she's carrying herself, why is she taking that man back, and nothing is on him. It's just, oh, hey, he's the savior. He messed up. Okay, cool. But her, look what she got on. This is why he probably cheated. You know, it's like, damn. That's why a lot of women, you know, just accept the flaw and just keep it going because they're going to take the heat regardless if they stay or leave. <clears throat> which, was, which was my whole issue with it. Um, how I think it happened. <clears throat> for one, I think that story is bullshit. For one, let's just let's just put that out there. They was not on break. He was hitting that girl the whole time throughout the relationship, mm-hmm. and uh, his wife found out about it and filed for divorce and wanted to leave him. Moved out, all that good stuff. Filed for divorce, and then he, you know, started wilding after that. But he was already cheating before, so that doesn't really matter. One way or another, they got back together, reconciled. He convinced her that he was going to do better. They get they get back together. He tried to cut the side chick off. She like, uh, I'm not going out that easy. I'm about to start leaking even more things to the public. So I think the wife knew about it mm-hmm. because it, this this happened a while ago. And then when she started leaking stuff, it was a situation where it's like, okay, we got to present the best front that we possibly can uh, because, you know, that that opened old wounds, obviously. You you know that, you know, regardless of she forgave him, all that good stuff, all that Christianity stuff, they be talking about whatever, she forgave him. But it's different when the whole world knows right. compared to when you know. Yep. And I think once the world found out about it, that brought in a whole new animal. So now it's like, okay, my, my image, my brand, everything is in jeopardy. So what can I do or what can I say to kind of limit the damage a little bit? Okay, I can say that I was messing with this chick while we was on break, more so than when we was married. Because if you would have cop to the oh, well, I, I had an affair when we was married, it would do way more damage than what it's doing. Uh-huh. So I think him and his wife came up with that story and then presented that or whatever. Now, what I don't agree with, just like Kenny said, you know that you under fire. You know that 80% of the people in the comments when you go live are trying to you know talk crazy about you. You don't have your wife up there looking any kind of way. I don't care what that whole a helmet of salvation bullshit that she talking about. I don't want to hear that. She didn't even have a bra on. I need you up there looking halfway decent. But she shouldn't even been up there at all. I, mean, I, I agree. She she, she should have stayed low key. But if you are gonna bring her, if she did agree to do that, and you are gonna bring her there, have a looking present. Mm-hmm. Because now, just like Kenny said, the heat is off of him essentially. I mean, he he getting some heat, but they slandering her more than him. Like, if you reading the timeline, mm-hmm. it's jokes up all day long, mm-hmm. all the way up and down. Calling her stupid, calling her this, that, and the third. Well, she is stupid, but that's neither here nor there. But they talking about her appearance and this, you know, this, that, and the third. Now, mind you, she's a, she's a, she's a pretty girl. You can tell she's pretty, but, you know, she, for some reason, this dress is weird. I don't know. But that's aside from the something. point. I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm just calling a spade a spade. So, when that... When when that happens, I think, and she caught all that slander, that's when she put out the the new video on her bonnet. Because at that point, you got to lean into it now. Mm-hmm. You got to try to tie it to God in some kind of way. And that's another issue that I had with him. He talking about, um, bro, in in that bro. in that in that story he told, he I said that he lashed out because he was mad that God ruined his relationship. Yes. <laughs> When he, he when he when, said that. yes he, he did, did. No, when he, he, that. he said that he said that. When, when he turned his life over to Christ he said that's when things went downhill in in his marriage ain't that and he the, lost his relationship ain't that the whole point of you you know what I'm saying trying to establish faith and everything like that right. you that's when you're supposed to find your faith right. it's when you in shambles when your life is in shambles and things like that so you quit you quit immediately basically you you didn't even try because he said that you know at that point I verbally gave my life to God. Right. I didn't formally submit my right. whole being to God. 
And yes. then my relationship went went off the rails. And then I, I blamed God for that. I and then know. I lashed out and started hitting women while we were separated. Again, bullshit. I don't I don't buy into none of that. So that was the part that I didn't like. That and then she come in with the whole helmet of salvation. This is my this is an arm, this is not an right. army shirt, this is a vest for the Lord. All of that bullshit. Like don't put God into in the mix of you do y'all Straight both up. doing some bullshit. Just cop to y'all the both bullshit. Finessing. Just cop to the bullshit. Like you, yes. he was he was a sucker in a great, you know what I'm saying, for contradicting the, all the message that he sends these women. Because again, just like I said, the message he sends is okay. He cheated on you. You leave that man. Don't ever turn back. You deserve better than that. Do you think he told his wife to leave him and don't ever turn back when he got caught cheating? No, he didn't. So Baby, that's contradiction. Please. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. No, oh, he didn't. Coup, when he did his video in third person, he seen that when he was like, uh, "Damn, what he." Oh said. yeah, but that that was the third well, video right, to come yeah, out. Yeah. The nigga did a Just video. That, 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 they, they on your ass now. You trying to spin it around now? The nigga no, I don't did do a that. Video on himself, a reaction video to himself, and then got slandered, and then he he deleted it because they were slandering his dumb ass. Hold up, what, bro? He so the Damn. video the, he about to play it. Okay, hold on. Let me first off, first off, just let me play a little bit of him and his wife sitting down with this. This bonnet. shit is wild. It's I ain't know this wild, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you play the video, I ain't know this wild. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is wild. Let as me shit. wrap my head around this. Come on. He made a third video of himself, like yeah. like with hold himself on. in a box. Yes, and he, he he looking reacted. at the video talking about himself. So, so be, be about to play the video or the original video. Play the original video of him and his wife sitting down. He made a re- to he made show. a reaction to that video of himself. Yeah. So now this was the second video. This video I'm about to play was second. But the first video he was at a desk. Yeah. In all black. And no. that's when he told that story. That's yeah. when he's talking about the books. That's, that's when he's talking and, about the books and, and, and stuff. And we not at a hundred thousand followers. <laughs> hey man. Hey. What can you do? <laughs> 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 nigga didn't turn the mic over. <laughs> what can you do, man? Okay, this is this is the clip of him and his wife sitting down on the couch where he holding her hand, we squeezing the wife. No, it, it, out of it, her it, hand. Is this the one where he looks at her? Like yes, you better, you better, bro. You better do like we rehearsed. Hey, yeah. you see the hand? You see the hand, huh? Lovely wife, Denea. And we just wanted to address a couple of things. You know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. And I would say it just started around August, maybe September of last year. But, you know, a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff. Some of it is true. Some of it is completely false. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women. Outside the marriage. And by Third involved, person. I want to be clear. I'm not talking about just casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex um, to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms of like just chatting or, or checking on people or being checked on by people that I've had a previous encounter with. Uh, but without my wife's knowledge of it and with us having a sexual history, all of it falls under the umbrella of inappropriate, cheating, affair, stepping out. Um, def- definitely not in alignment with the vows that I took um, and definitely not in, in alignment with the biblical standard of what it means to be faithful, which is the standard that I'm going by now. Now, I'm saying this publicly, not because I'm <laughs> a little too married to that, you man. guys. First and foremost, I'm accountable to God. Then I have to be accountable to my wife, in which we've already had this conversation. I've already told her literally everything. I've given her basically a, a roll call list. If I've said hello to a woman in the last 12 years of me knowing her, she knows about it. Um, but now that it's been made so public, um, it's important that I first off let you guys know I do not stand by those actions. I don't want to encourage anybody to do that. And then secondly, I know that I cannot build a platform preaching certain things, preaching against certain things. And then in my real life, live contrary to that for any amount of time or, or any length of time to any extent and think that I can't be held accountable. You know, the same way that I preach, you know, men and women in this situation need to face consequences of their actions, um, deserve to be held accountable. Guess what? Derrick Jackson's no exemption. He, he's not exempt from that. I'm also not a victim. Um, nobody made me do this. Uh, she didn't make me or push me to do it. The next person didn't make me. No friend influenced me. It don't matter how I was raised and what trauma, whatever. Look, I made decisions. You're lying. Fam. The media made you do it. Not necessarily had sexual rela- Come on, dog. If you hitting any woman up that you didn't have sex with prior to, what you looking for? To hit. You ain't looking for nothing else. The whole world know what that means. Come on, dog. The whole world. My man said he never had sex with the woman. Man, don't get on here lying again. That's what he said. I can't believe she sat know. there and keep, like that and let him lie. And keep, I don't even want to talk about her. I she think it, hey, I'm on I feel his you. ass because he he. But just, they set up there with the lie, bro. 
They're a hell of a team. I give you that. He He's, lying again to her face. Yep. He just straight up sitting there lying to her again. Yeah, hell of a team. Saying he told her the truth. If a nigga lied to you the first time, he ain't, still ain't gonna tell you the whole truth. He ain't. To my anyone I ever said hi to. He gonna give you parts and bits of the lie yep. until you stop just asking for more. Just to get you off yep. his back. Yep. Watch what. Hey, ain't no man gonna give you the whole spill. Watch what she asks about three, four months from now. You know women do. Of I'm course. telling you, ain't, ain't no man gonna give you the whole spill. He gonna, ask, he gonna tell you this time, you gonna be like, but I know you did this. Okay, yeah, baby, I did this too. You know, it's <laughs> always gonna be some. What extra. about this? Nah, baby, that's it. Nah, but what about this girl? Okay, yeah, I had this girl. <laughs> yeah. Come on, dog. Yeah, I had her legs behind her back. How you Come get on, that video? <laughs> How you get that video? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, it's just on, you know man. again. But but just like we said earlier, I'm gonna play another clip. We said that she received slander for that bonnet, not having no bra on, titties hanging on, all that other stuff. So this is her response. Hold on, no, we good, we good, we good. It's a spiritual warfare, and if you are not prepared and you do not know what to do, you will drown and you will be a casualty in this war. I did not come here to play games and to play dress up. I came here in my battle suit. I came here on the battle ground covered in the blood of Jesus. I received the anointing of the warrior and I spilled the blood of the enemy. Beat the saxophone you behind see it a bonnet. I see the helmet of salvation. salvation. You see no. an army green shirt. I, I see the, the breastplate of righteousness. righteousness. I see the belt of truth, and the sandals of peace. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God and the shield of faith. And I've come to the battleground covered in the blood of Jesus <laughs> to proclaim victory over sin. And as God does for me, he is going to do for those of you who believe. Thoughts. She fighting the wrong war. That's what she doing. I think he ain't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> You getting cheated on again, baby. I'm going to let you know that right now. You get on that video talking like that, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. He went cheat that night. I guarantee you he that night. Again. That night. I, I guarantee you. That's the problem, man. She is whole, so heavily built into faith of God Too and much. all the Bible. Too much. And he is not built that way. Too much. You obviously can tell that he was she, not He was not raised that way. He's she, not built that way. He using that against her. Heavy. And he's just doing it just, just to please her. He got the perfect excuse though, because it's like, okay, whenever I do bad, oh baby, that ain't nothing but the devil. Yep. So you gonna always take me back. <laughs> <laughs> what? I ain't nothing but the devil that always got me. But the devil God. did that. I'm what losing that? this battle to the devil. <laughs> God, God is testing our relationship. I didn't, I didn't have on your best of self. Your, your best of <laughs> hey, God, God ain't no better. He ain't defending me, <laughs> ba- baby. They ain't had no vest for my penis, baby. I'm sorry. God I had said. on my salvation helmet. I had on my vest. <laughs> But the, I, the dick ain't have no vest. I, I, I told him I rebuked the devil in the name of Jesus. Jesus didn't come. <laughs> to die but I, forsaken. But I did. I came, baby. God said she wouldn't put more on me than I could do. <laughs> yo, yo. So he put four holes on me. <laughs> yo. Bam. Come on, dog. Come hey, on, dog. baby. Hey. God said wow. put on her breastplate. I put her breast on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> and had a feast. <laughs> y'all, y'all going to hell on scholarship, bro. Yeah, I hey, swear. Bro. Y'all going on scholarship, bro. Oh, hey, my man. God. But look. Anyway, dog, ain't, ain't no man going to say to a woman that's that heavily built into faith and religion. Oh, my that God. He, ain't even, he wasn't even close to that way. Bro. <laughs> it wasn't even close to that way. Bro, she, I have on my breast of salvation, my sandals, my. That's not right, sleaze yeah. you. That's not sleaze you at nah, all, bro. Nah, he not welcome. She not even welcome. On but camp, you know what's bro. funny though? I ain't. I ain't gonna. Even, I ain't gonna. Even, I ain't gonna even let it go though. Hold on, she can, come. Gonna, she can come. Hold on, we are gonna play one more clip because cause niggas say that niggas say that she stole that. Uh, what you call it the from, from this dude right here? Breastplate rice. Oh, oh he, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm, smooth, smooth, smooth. We good. We good. We got like straight. You straight five. Yeah, this is oh, the, not for my man, the Mexican dude. He from, from Houston. Houston. He, from, he from Houston. <laughs> Listen to what he's saying. Do for shield Jesus Christ of faith. Lord. Jesus Christ, we love you, God. <laughs> that nigga was killing that motherfucker, boy. Hey, the helmet of salvation. Look, there's the enemy. Look, there's the enemy. So we hold up the sword of truth. 
Mm. Jesus Christ. Mm. We love you, God. Shoot a fish. Jesus Christ. And we fought that holy war. <laughs> and we win. <laughs> So, hey. so people saying that she stole her spill from him. No, nah, she ain't stole. That, that's what they said. Nah, she, hey, she probably did. That's I mean that's a common phrase. Oh, okay, that's common. It's a common phrase, but bro, no. Because <laughs> the, the the sword, the no. sword is the supposed to be the Bible. That's the sword. Your of man truth. was out right. here on these holes. Said he wanted to get on these holes. The power got to him, man. It, me, man, man, look. He was on him before this whole. He blew up. He was on him that's before real. that. Because mm-hmm. look. Because their their relationship was falling out before then. What they got divorced? What were they separated for before it? What was it? Because she used to be big, wasn't she? I don't don't care what size she was. He he used to be fat. I know. They was married. He said they separated. Why did y'all separate to begin with? He never said specifically. He said that he said that I lost my way because Mm -hmm. like we were spending a lot of time around each other and I felt unfulfilled. My you know my heart was like halfway in a relationship, halfway out of it. But he never. Cop to cheating nah, is why we said that nigga lost the weight first. He lost it. You know when nigga, mm-hmm. when nigga lose that weight, you ain't you want really on no hoes, mm-hmm. and you and, and, and you, you got a little fame now. Too, you yeah. got you got some fame now. The the women that used to holler at you look a whole lot different. Mm-hmm. Facts. Whole lot different. My dude was in the gym, yep. six foot five, got fit, and she was that. hitting him in the gym. Yeah, you know I'm saying, and they start coming. <laughs> Oh, you, you Derek Jackson. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And you know women out here, oh, I want somebody six five to the... They ran into a nigga that was weak. And all he got to do is spit the little... Now he got a lot of money because you can guard. fly people out now. Talk you, about a little guard and you got... You know what I'm saying? Talk about a little guard. He, he, he and he's wet. He ain't got like that Tony Satcher. Just sprinkling a little seasoning on top of it. It is. <laughs> That's real. What here? You, That's what? real. You be a decent looking dude with some money and talk about God. You, boy, they Come dripping. On. Come on, man. They dripping. Come on, man. Drip, drip. Finesse their ass all the way out them pants. Exactly. He ain't finesse shit. He finessed her. His wife. That's real. She That's needs real. to cheat. She needs to come to sleaze you. You know, know what I'm saying? She should have got some dick on the outside. What he should have hey, sent him what the video. What he should do is do what he, exactly what he preached. He should leave her because he obviously is not meant to be with her. She need, and he knows that. She need to get back. You're right, but she need to get back because she didn't. She hey, got she embarrassed. Came, she, when they did so that she video, she to embarrass him. No, and she not too even deep that. In the Bible, she so. should have came on that camera from initially when they was uh, together and they was apologizing. She should have been dolled I'm, up. I'm no, fuck that. And ready to mingle. Like you she said, the apology should looking, be loud as looking disrespect. At that, hey, True. It should be just like that. She need to. She should have sent hey, him a video of her sucking a nigga dick hey, or something. Stop. But see, that's the thing. He never <laughs> cop to and, it and, though. Yeah, he did. He didn't cop all the way. He's still saying that he didn't. that that I didn't start wilding until we were separated. That's we not know. true. We know, yeah, we know. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, which is the part again that that baffles me? Like you preach accountability, you preach this, that, and the third. Just tell the truth, bro. You hit the girl while you was married, and that caused the separation. Ain't no woman just gonna file for a divorce just because y'all arguing a lot. Come on, fam. Hit hitting girls. Yeah, while she was like. Married. Y'all, cause y'all arguing a lot. All of a sudden, she gonna just you know what? I'm moving out. I'm filing for divorce. No, it don't happen like that, bro. Now, men will leave for something petty like that, but women, no. Especially somebody that's deep in the Bible like that. She's not just walking because y'all arguing a lot. She got faith. Mm-hmm. We can fix this. <laughs> right. They uh, linked back up at a church picnic. He went out to the church picnic. She showed up, and the pastor called them both back to his office and sat them down. Had a long talk. This is after the divorce was filed. Everything they was getting ready for at the end. And they just so happened, you know, that pick church picnic happened. They linked back up there. And that's when he decided to, quote, unquote, give his life to God all the way and then cut off the women that he had been having an affair with. And immediately when he did that, he went back to them. Yep. Because, oh, which is another thing. Because he got videos being outside their apartment Bingo. complex. That's what I was about to get to. Because a, a chick came out and had an interview. She was like, yeah, you see, he's talking about all of this, gave my life back to God. But if you look at his videos, that's look at the, the background, that, that those white archers in the background. That's my house, and that's that's recent. <laughs> Chick came out, you know what I'm saying? Just put so he's just lying. Bro. Those those are videos from past. I just didn't edit them in oh time to release them now. I do my video six months in advance. <laughs> bro was doing that shit in the same spot. As <laughs> soon as he would beat, he would go to the car, drive a half a block, and then record. <laughs> He'd be like, "Damn, I should have done that." <laughs> Let me go ahead and preach what I'm supposed Come to be on, doing bro. right. It's insane. But on, but getting bro. back to the him reviewing himself video, we got that right here. We're gonna oh, play yeah. that for you. 
There's another one? Yes. Uh, Your own willpower, your own values. You have to have the grace of God uh, to break free from certain things, to stay away from certain things, um, to not operate from your lowest self, whatever it may be. So... When I looked in the comments of this video, uh, I don't know if old boy was trolling or not, but he said, D, I think I want to see a reaction to this video. So let's do it. And by the way, I'm going to speak in third person. Um, a lot of you already seen this, but this is Derek Jackson. Um, a lot of people think of him as a relationship expert and guru and all of that. Well, he, he and his wife are making this video because apparently at some point in their marriage or maybe even beforehand in the relationship, he didn't take his own advice and he stepped out and he got involved with other women, as you heard them say. Now, upon first impression, nothing really stuck out to me about him, but more so about the wife. Like I heard her say that she stands with her husband. She's proud to love him. Um, I heard her say that, you know, this is some time ago. They They've already processed this, overcame this, dealt with this a long time ago, and nothing's really new to her. But just by her body language, I was really wondering, like, did he force her to do this video? Like, she looks super uncomfortable, nah, like she doesn't want to nah, be there. Bro, but then I watched their live chat that they did bro, right afterwards, and, you know, I kind of caught yet. that this is just a part of her personality. Yet. So that kind of explains somewhat of her demeanor. You know, she clearly has a mind of her own, if you saw the live chat, too. And she said that the live chat even was her idea. Um, so with that, cool. She wants to stand by her husband. She Suck feels like him. he's worth it. She has that right now as far as what he said I understand and I and I completely applaud him taking accountability because too many times we see dudes and they got this sob story about how they was raised and you know they broken home and the goldfish died and they never seen a marriage and all he didn't do that he just took accountability but I hope he understands that all the accountability in the world is not going to rebuild broken trust dog there's no way this is this gotta be a fucking movie dog how do you just go up there and talk about your wife right off the jump? He said that YouTube check don't stop, baby. Like the post. first thing, I, he didn't stand out to me, but that the YouTube wife. YouTube check don't stop. If you look at her appearance and her demeanor. That nigga's like smart. Was, so, He's smart, bro. Because imagine how many people didn't review that content I'm on their page. That, hey, you and then went that back. Video is at, is I, don't, at a I, don't, I don't want them to hear me no more. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this. <laughs> and how you, how you sit there and say, don't matter what, what happens, how much you take accountability. Or whatever the trust is broken, but yeah, you still stay in that relate. He's still, like yeah. your mind process is processing what actually you feel, yep, and what you understand in life, and you still sitting there holding a marriage with a woman that you obviously we all know that you don't want to be with for business, baby, bro. That nigga just so you don't look bad instead of being just out so here on these ho- instead so of being out here on these hoes like he want to do. Just want just because you want to get your Steve Harvey book off, yeah. Which I I bet it still ain't selling numbers, regardless how many apologies you give and shit. Cause I bet I bet money is selling. I bet it's not. They say I mean, you know why? It's more gullible women yeah. out here. Oh, he they, they apologized. Said, they he said he didn't show. He didn't. I mean, he didn't got uh, like two hundred more followers. Two hundred thousand. I'm followers. telling you, you got followers just because they want to read the videos, but buying the book. I'm telling. Oh, they buying the book. I promise too. you, bro. They I promise the you, they buying that book, bro. Oh, I don't you know how many so. weak women out here? Cause he make and then on top of that, look, 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 he'll do this shit. He'll do this shit right. Say, say, he, say they do do it with divorce. I bet it's gonna be a hundred million women lined up to try mm-hmm. to be his gal. Yeah. No, oh, that, that could be it. I mean, that's that is what it is. His, so pre- his previous going by that. His book. previous relationship ain't got shit to do with his next relationship. I'm t- hey, but women gonna buy now. That what I can see him doing is getting a divorce and then making another book about the relationship. I'm saying this is what really happened. Helmet of salvation. Almost like a uh, put on the arm of God. What's up, boy, with the uh, black glove? If I really, if I really did, jo- Johnny Cochran. <laughs> oh, OJ. And OJ. OJ. If OJ, if I really did it, this how it would go. <laughs> yeah. Um. Again, man, I, that's I just, disrespectful, dog. The whole thing is just is just ridiculous. But I think like as it's going on, he didn't just start feeding into the fire yeah. mm-hmm. because again, he does benefit. From how you know him being in attention, he getting killed. I mean, in the media, he getting killed, he getting slandered. But just like O'Say, he gained two hundred thousand new subscribers. So if y'all know how YouTube work, y'all know that that's a lot of fucking money that he's making by just putting these videos out and saying whatever he want to say, getting his wife involved. Now his wife about to turn into a celebrity. She gonna start her own channel. They gonna you know what I'm saying? Like it's this is a nice this is a nice come up. As crazy business as wise. it looks, business it's wise, a ni- right? Business wise. Because it's still gonna be people that that's gonna subscribe to you. Look yep. at you look at Steve Harvey's situation. He put that book out and then got divorced. <laughs> he done be, he got divorced three times, three times and put that book out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like people still gonna invest in what you're saying if 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 there's substance to it. I thought he was married what to that, his one woman. His Twice. one woman nah, that put that book out, didn't he? He was married to the I'm talking about. Um, he's married to the same woman he's married uh, now, and then put that book out. Lori, he, Lori, mama. Yeah, because he ain't put that book out till uh, he had his TV show. 
And he's been married to a girl too. So we got divorced. Since he twice. had the TV show, he's been divorced three times. Yeah, th- three times. It's, this is his fourth. His fourth marriage. Right. So, but but people still bought the book even after all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that, that that's my point is that like that doesn't like jeopardize your your credibility somewhat if they rock with what you're saying. And a lot of people rock with what he says because uh, you're right. Uh, yeah. He does speak some truth yeah. in regards to that. But my issue with him is that he don't tell both sides. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, that's the difference with us. People hate what we say because we hold women accountable too. When men mess up, we say, hey, bro, you're doing some bullshit. Just like right now. Because if we was misogynist or whatever, we would just ride with him. Yeah. Just because he a man. Yeah. But no, you doing some bullshit. Kevin Samuels, same way. We love Kevin Samuels. But him calling that girl NFL running back was going overboard. You doing some bullshit. That's it. Kenny, relax. <laughs> it was funny, though. But two that's one. Two, two huts. <laughs> that's, real. that's real, though. But again, we hold both sides accountable. And he didn't do that. It was always what the man is not but doing. Yeah, it's always the, the man's fault. We get all the flag. So that's what I didn't like. And yeah. that's why when, when this shit blows up and burns in your face, you looking crazy. Because you didn't you wasn't telling unbiased truth. Actually, it don't look crazy. The, the the people love them. We the ones look crazy when we when we talk about both sides. We the ones no, no, right, right, right. Right, right. But I, but I'm, I'm I'm talking about like this that's why he's getting this much slander. Yeah. Is because it, he looks like a walking contradiction to where like if something happened. With us or something like that They're gonna be like Well they said That mm-hmm. you know It's the likelihood That he gonna violate Or he gonna cheat if such, such, You know what I'm saying So it's, it's gonna be in line Compared to him saying Okay if your man cheat on you Walk away from that You don't need to be none, Nowhere involved In none of that That man don't respect you Da 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 Now you done cheat And you saying that You respect your wife And you not asking her To walk away You contradicting yourself That's real You know what I'm saying So that was my issue with it And then the, that third person video Is just over Ridiculous Ridiculous but then he started getting killed for that, and then he ended up taking it down. Mm-hmm. I bet he did, because he just said your trust is broken. Mm-hmm. So what else is that to say? In in summary, uh, that boy is just clown. But he's definitely gonna come up. He's definitely gonna have a lot more views. He's gonna get a lot more attention. He's gonna sell a lot more books, and it's unfortunate. And people sharing his shit. I hope this is the most money he's gonna make right now, because I hope that shit fall off. Honestly, I hope it fall off too. But people sharing this shit. Hey, you subscribe to him, girl. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But we don't get the same love And we the realest channel out here Not not over the fact that You know I'm What he's saying him. is wrong I'm just over the fact that He's, he's lying so much and, and still lying and Still lying And I'm still disrespecting his wife Like right. that That's That's what people like that Shouldn't be Shouldn't succeed like that And I don't mm-hmm. see how people Invest in To these motherfuckers And they not authentic Cause a lot of them do that Like A lot of women that's Invested into what he's doing And, and especially this situation They go on through that mm-hmm. yep. Yeah True, a lot of them, and to and to fight the 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 thought of her having to leave, or to fight the fact that she knows she should leave, she's just like, well, you know what, she's staying, and you know what, I'm gonna take his side, because I know if I if I agree with her, then that's gonna make me look bad, mm-hmm. and I ain't gonna look bad. It ain't my fault that I'm staying here. Yes, it is. Yep. So I'm playing. I just thought about a random story, just real quick. I had an ex, and she was reading that Steve Harvey book. What was the name? Never mind. Go ahead. And. <laughs> I was like 20, so y'all just put the timeline together. Um, but she was she, she was reading that book, and we was getting an argument, and a couple of times she kept saying, well, Steve Harvey said, Steve Harvey said, Steve Harvey said, one time I just said, fuck you and Steve Harvey. Because, <laughs> dog, I was like, dog, that shit is just, that's not real. That's just not real. Act like a lady, think like a man. No, come on now. And that's the thing. A, a lot of women like try to try to use that, and it fell flat on their face because you're not wired that way. You're not. You can try to act like a man. You can try to think like a man, but most women cannot move like that okay. because they like most women value deep, deep bonds, even with men that they're not supposed to. Men like we stumble into deep bonds. It's a difference. We out here looking for looks and sex. Anything we get on top of that is luxury, yep. and that's what we're going to settle with. But we're not looking. We're not out here looking for a relationship. That's not what we're doing. But a lot of women are, and they, they, they value that true love. It's because society holds them to that standard or whatever, mm-hmm. not so much us. But, yeah, like you, but that's how they wired. We're not wired that way. And if you try to go against that, you're going to fall flat on your face. It may work initially, but then you're going to catch feelings with that man. And if he don't feel that same way about you, now you asked out. You done tried that and fell flat on your face compared to a man. Like, that's that's how we move anyway. Mm-hmm. So we ain't going to fall flat on our face. Now, don't get me wrong. Some do. We, we ain't going to say all men don't. But most men can go about hitting women, a different woman every day, and not feel nothing if we don't really like her. 
but most women are not wired like that. So that's that's the, that's the part that I that I didn't like about that book. I understand what Steve was trying to do. Mm-hmm. He's trying to give them our mindset, right? And and that's cool. You can, but I say it all the time. You can give a motherfucker the playbook, play by play, and they still gonna lose because they let their emotions and their feelings and how much they like that man get involved. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you know, again, but you know, as far as Derrick Jackson, man, it's just a, it's just fraudulent behavior, bro. And and my situation, I mean, my view on it again, just like Kenny said. If you at least come out, cop to it, be honest, bro. But he's still lying. Three, four videos in, he's still lying. Still, still hitting the side too. Right. So it's like, I mean, you know. I mean, it's a big-ass hustle. Anybody that chooses to follow that is asking to be finessed, and I don't have no kind of sympathy for that. So, But, again, I'm not hating on that man, channel, business. That I would never hate on another man, income, money. That's not my place. But contradiction, blatant contradiction. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't rock with that. I can't, I can't rock with that. Niggas can hate us all day long, but you ain't never got to question the integrity of what we saying. That's just what it is. Um, Except for Otis. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right. All to the next story, man. Sweetie Quavo recently right. broke up. Um, We're going to play a clip. Sweetie was on a show uh, by that boy Justin LeBoy, and uh, she was asked about threesomes. We're going to play a little bit from that. I want to get y'all response. Every woman in here to chime in, but we're going to start off with Sweetie tonight. Mm -hmm. Ladies, if you are ready in a relationship and your man is doing everything he's supposed to, Mm -hmm. respecting you, loving you, et cetera, et cetera, Mm -hmm. but one thing on his wish list is he asks for a threesome. Oh, Mm. Hold on. Some of y'all fans of it, some of y'all That's not. That's a real question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it happens. You go both ways. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Oh my God. I love the crowd. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. One mic, one mic. I love it here. Sweetie, mm-hmm. I'm going to go directly at you. Yes. If you're in a relationship and your man's doing everything he's supposed to, mm-hmm. he respects you, he loves you, he's doing everything he's supposed to. Man, just ask the damn question. And he asked for a threesome. <laughs> and you get to choose anyone in the world uh-huh. to bring home for you <clears throat> and him. Right. Anyone. Who would it be to give your man and you your dream threesome? Okay, he's Don't lock. He's doing you. everything right. Everything right. Everything right. Everything right. Like, he's been a perfect gentleman for you. <laughs> right. Like, for the first time in your life, a nigga's doing everything right, but he just wants one threesome. Who's the dream girl to bring home to him to make all of y'all Shop, happy. Okay, so that's shopping spree. That's good dick. That's all of that. That's good dick, good. Just communication. Mm. Tongue in your butt. Picking up the phone, one ring. Look at you, sucking your toes. <laughs> paying all your bills. Oh my oh, God. Oh, wow. And okay. you want to make him happy, finally. Because he, you put him through hell. Th- so a threesome, right? You put him through a hell. A threesome, right, ladies? Right. Threesome. I normally talk to men who are cultured, who's been around the world, who know a lot of people. Right. Um, it's on you though. You yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I understand that, but because he's doing everything right, I'm going to give him the honor of picking the nigga who we gonna have a threesome with. Oh! Oh! You heard what she said. I didn't hear. Joe type of girl. Yeah, she said. Uh, she said because he been behaving, she gonna give him the honor of picking the nigga. That they had a threesome with. So, we. T- <laughs> I don't even want to look down there. I got to focus. Otis. I don't even want to look down there. Otis. That's your drink. <laughs> shit, you crazy. You know, goddamn well. I don't even want to look down there. We had an episode with Otis saying he wanted to do the threesome. That's real shit. With a woman. And I said that. Nah, what well, Matt said. I said, my women got like women. I said that loud and clear. Oh, shit. But, um,. So, I mean, that ain't even what I want to talk about, because that was just a bunch of bulls. I mean, that was that was witty on, on her part to flip that on them like that, and so I definitely appreciate it for that. But some tweets came out. Uh, she basically said that, you know, because after they announced that they broke up, people were speculating this, that, and the third. She came out and said, you know, hey, I, I can't, you know, respect a man that's not faithful in his relationship and uh, taking me for granted and this, that, and the third. Came out with a whole long uh, tweet. Then Quavo responded basically saying she not innocent. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically saying I wasn't the only one messing up in this situation, and I and you know I thought that we was most solid in you bringing our business to social media. Mm. 
But long story long, they end up separating. So I want to get y'all thoughts on how that how that whole thing. First off, I want to say shout out to Quavo for taking the goddamn uh, car back, man. Appreciate you, boy. Yeah, you out here for the sleeves, nigga. I appreciate you, nigga. Yes, sir. You been at the school, nigga. I feel you. He caught a lot of heat for that, man. Fuck all that shit, man. He took his Bentley that back. Was that was the broke ass women saying, he took his Bentley back. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. If her name wasn't on it, ain't hers. Get your ass out of here. See, I think that was PTSD for a lot of women. You know, a lot of these women be messing with these celebrities. They be, you know, giving them cars. Give them leasing, lease, lease, lease vehicles. Giving them cars. Yeah, lease, lease vehicles. Right. Then, you know, when they violate, they send somebody to come pick it up. I think Drake had a lyric about that. I sent uh, Eric to go get it. <laughs> he said, I'll get you the vans or something. Send Eric to go get it when you violate. That's that type sick. of situation. So I think, you know, a lot of them, you know, touch them with that. But uh, in regards to their situation, I don't really like speaking on people's business. It ain't my fault. But I think uh boy's about to be shooting out the window at Sweetie. I know that. Most Boy, definitely. That's a fact. You know that's coming. But the next yeah. album going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> next Migo album going to be crazy. I, be I can't crazy. wait. <laughs> yeah, uh... Sweetie is bad than most. She dude. is very but, much so. But Quavo said she wasn't the only one. He wasn't the only one acting out. Bingo. He said, "Quote unquote, she's not innocent." That's that's his words. And it's crazy that I believe him. I do too. That's real. I do too. I really do because her first her first word out of her mouth is shopping sprees. Mm-hmm. So she out there chasing the bag. Mm-hmm. Remember, she, she said she want that money. She said on uh, was it Valentine's Day? If your man ain't buying you Chanel or whatever. Birkin. Birkin? Yeah. yeah and, Birkin. Yeah. Talking about a $15,000 bag. Should have said it. Should've, yeah, she you know, she out there like chasing the bag, which I mean, hey, she can do what she want to do. Yeah, she can. Right. Absolutely. Somebody, <laughs> somebody had a tweet said, <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What? What? He said, I know that toilet be on fire whenever Sweetie get done out. She be eating them. <laughs> <laughs> dog. <laughs> Terrible. She do be some wild shit, dog. And Terrible. I don't know if y'all women. I, I pay attention to how a woman diet is. Me too. too. Cause like if you eating, you know, pickles and hot Cheetos all the time, you always out there drinking. Dipped in cheese. I know that pH balance ain't ain't up to par. You know, so. Smelling fishy. And that makes a big difference. I don't care how good you look. Boy say sweetie was the first person to ever seen eat uh, ice cream with hot sauce on it. I seen somebody tweet that. She asked she asked uh, you with hot sauce on it. Swear to God. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true, but they was just joking though. But but now, nah, I mean she she, you know, openly admits to not want not knowing how to cook, not wanting to cook. She like to eat junk food. So it's like again, I'm not excusing it if somebody cheated. Cheat? I ain't, you know, I ain't excusing it. That ain't you no thought reason. he wasn't no, gonna no, cheat no because you knew what you signed up for when you signed up for that. We're not gonna sit here and act you like you know she just sprung that on wasn't you. Wasn't gonna cheat, but we said that from the jump. Like mm-hmm. men can move that certain way mm-hmm. and be okay. Women can't. Yeah, they can't. They they gonna catch feelings. They are gonna be like, okay, well, you know, I'm I'm gonna try to play this game with you. I'm gonna mm-hmm. try to make you jealous and do you know, okay, cool. Let's let's see how that works. Let's see how you want to move. Let's see. Let's see this. And I think it caught up to like, okay, hey, I'm tired of this shit. But same time, though, my uh, money is on them getting back together. That's just what my money is on. I think. I, I think this is gonna kill over in about six over. months. I think it's over. You know it's why? Because good. the only reason why, because she went public with the personal shit. Mm. And for a man, you know, you know, what I'm saying, she get public and it ain't coming from you. My shit, that that hurt worse than you know what I'm saying. Than her, her spitting in your face, so to speak. Yeah, but now, I, now you trying to you know what I'm saying tear down my my kingdom, so to speak. Nigga ain't having that. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I mean, I could, I could I could I could ride with that, but I feel like most women go public anyway, way more so than we do. Mm. They gonna give you some kind of hint, some kind of meme, some kind of tweet, some kind of something. She just so happened to, you know, directly say, "Hey, he was unfaithful." God type of situation. You know what I'm saying? But even then, she didn't like violate him. To an extent She just said what happened Or what she says happened again We ain't in a relationship I don't know what happened What unfolded But that's why I say I think you know It's 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 hot right now or Whatever But about six months Watch this They gonna get back together Same way Cardi B and Offset Be breaking up every goddamn Six months And then get back together After he done bought a new car A new truck or something And she walked right back Into the fold I think that's, I think it ain't gonna be no different I think she gonna get out here And she, she definitely gonna try To date somebody else for sure What's the difference is You know the difference In the situation my nigga ain't never take no car from her. Cool. Well, that's, say, true. that's true. Let me get that. She, that's true. She, she, Cardi more, worth more than he is. I you gonna take that. car from her? <laughs> For real. <laughs> we just gonna be honest. Cardi's a superstar. He a star, but she a superstar. It's a, it's, it's a difference. 
But uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't really have too much to say, man. Prayers out to all parties involved. That's my new PC uh, answer. <laughs> And on that note, man, we're going to get into the quick hit segment. Hey, is this really quick hits? Uh, sweetie, I ain't got no Birkin, but we could get the Jiggy Jiggy Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> we could get the Jiggy Jiggy Jerk. You know what I'm saying? So now. If you know, you if you know what, if you know it, then you know. If you no, know, no, no, that, might, that might be too old for something. You know what I'm saying? That is hilarious. <laughs> All right, first one. What traits make a man "quote unquote" weak to y'all? When you think of a weak man, too feminine. Feminine, yeah. That's a weak man to me. To me, mm. like you just when you say feminine, elaborate. Sassy. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you're overly flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. Mm. That that's just for me. That's my personal takes on it. Mm. Damn. One I would say was somebody that's offended easily. Mm. I feel like that would be one. It's a few, mm. but I would say lazy. Mm. A lazy man ain't gonna get shit done. Oh, that yeah, that's, that's, a, fact. Fact. that's, that's a week. I'd have said that. You can't, you can't be lazy. You got to be on your on your grind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some yeah, you can take true. days off sometimes, but most of the time you can't be. You can't put shit aside. Mm-hmm. Like now that I see, like you, you always got to be out there. If you go get something done, you got to go get it done. You can't worry about somebody else getting it done for you. Facts. Or rely on somebody else to do it for you. Um, I would say, a man, that's a follow man that don't think for himself. I mean, I think that's that goes in line with everything that y'all said. Like when you when you think for yourself. Nobody dictates your moves but you. And I feel like that's what a real man is. Now, you got a lot of people out here that follow dudes for clout. Dude may be more popular. So whatever he say, I'm going to go with. I'm going to agree with. Uh, he want to go, you know, do mess with these hoes. Even though I'm in a relationship, I'm going to go out there and do it anyway with him because I look up to him in this kind of way. But he can't think for himself. I feel like a strong man is on some shit like, look, man, I got my, my priorities and my morals. They are what they are. How I move is how it is. Mm-hmm. And if I even if I want to go violate or I want to go do some some wild shit, it's gonna be on my accord. It's mm-hmm. not gonna be on what another man says. And I feel like uh, most men are not like that. Most men are looking for somebody to follow. They looking for an alpha to follow. That's why we speak about it all the time. You got fifteen niggas in a room. All you gotta do is just sit back and watch. That the the leaders are gonna separate themselves, and you're gonna see a bunch of niggas that's following them. One or two leaders. Out of that 15 people that's in that room. So that's what I feel like is weak. I'm going to say using God to manipulate women. <laughs> <laughs> and that covers all spectrums. So I don't care who you are. That's a fact. That's just real. Using a woman weak is like that and want to, you know, say, because it had some pastors. <laughs> it had some pastors like, yeah, God told me to sleep with you. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? That you got to feel this spiritual dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God! Another thing, weak man. They don't take care of his kids. Yes. That's hey, thing. I was big gonna facts. say that. I was gonna say that's that. Big facts. Go ahead, smooth dive in that, bro. One of the biggest his ones. Fucking kids, bro. Like that you're is a a, that is a really, really, really big one. You ain't a man if you don't take care of your kids. And I give a fuck what you going through with your baby mom. I don't give a damn about that. I give a damn. The moment she take child support from you. Yeah, the only pass I'm giving. Let me let me tell you this. The only pass I'm giving is if she move away and you don't know where the fuck she at. Mm. Nobody giving you information on it, or if you dead. That's the only pass I'm giving to you. Right. Everything else, it's a fucking excuse. That's real. You weak out here. You weak out here. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga that don't take care of his kids, fuck out. And another thing, another nigga that goddamn uh, take care of somebody else's kids and not and them. Not Oh my God! Preach. We too, nigga. Big week. Preach. We too, nigga. Wait, what? What? Say again. Uh, somebody take care of somebody else's kids, but, but not, not their own kid. Mm. They own kids know them as unk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Hey, but that, that's real though. That's met, real. He's speaking on real situations. I met somebody like that the other day randomly when I went to go get my car fixed. Mm-hmm. She was talking about how um, her dad and my this woman probably like. Late 50s, something like that, if I had to guess. Mm-hmm. But she was talking about how her dad left early yeah. because she was like, he had a, another whole other family. So he went mm-hmm. to take care of that family. 
And I was like, so she was like, so I understood a little bit. And I was like, nah, that's, that ain't cool. Yeah. Like, even though he had the other family, he's still supposed to take care of you too. Mm-hmm. True. So it was on some like, basically, you know, him and I guess the mom was dating at one point, had the kid and they, you know, stopped dealing with each other. So when he got married, then he had a whole family. So he decided, I guess he decided then that that was his responsibility. Mm-hmm. And so she was still kind of carrying some type of resentment and stuff like that. And I, I was like, weak. damn, sad. Nigga weak, man. Sad. Weak. Another thing, uh, man who don't got loyalty. Yeah, that is, boy. boy got loyalty, bro. That's a big one, too. Because, again, you know, it's easy to be cool with niggas when everything is going right. Mm-hmm. Or or when you hurting, be cool with a nigga that's up. But when a nigga get up, when a nigga get in the position that he want to be in, that's when you see how loyal he really is. Mm-hmm. When he no longer needs you no more. And a lot of times people be loyal based on convenience. It don't be on a you know a, a sense of cold. Like they'll shake your hand while you in the room, but if they in the room with some niggas that don't like you, they gonna join in on the jokes or they're not gonna stop the jokes or nothing like that if somebody talking bad about you trying to slander you or whatever. So and you know, I have zero tolerance policy for that. I'm I believe in if a nigga is on the fence, I will push him to the other side of the fence before I let him straddle. So loyalty is real big to me. If you ain't loyal, you just weak. And that's in relationships as well. For you to have a woman and for you to be talking bad to that woman with to other chicks, talking down on one, which is what Derrick Jackson was doing. He was talking down on his wife to them other chicks that he day. Cheating yeah. is one thing, but you downing your girl to other chicks or you, uh, you know, I guess like spending money on other chicks and paying other chicks bills and th- th- all, that con- all that extra shit. It's just like, what? Just no loyalty at all. It's just like, nah, fam. Weak. Weak. Yeah, so that would be it. Uh, Next one. As a black man, do you feel like there's a constant need to prove ourselves in society? Of course. All the time. And in what ways? Man, every way. From the, from the moment you understand, from the un, when you a child, the moment you grasp the perception of, I'm a black man out here, I got to move different. Mm-hmm. That's the moment you start proving yourself. Mm. That's the moment Because you got to separate This is what it is You got to separate yourself You get what I'm saying That That's from That's from being in class Goddamn When you see When you in goddamn First grade Second grade You start seeing the kids That activate You get what I'm saying Motherfuckers be like Alright This is instilled to me I got to go I got to be smart I got to get all A's you, Then you see the other motherfuckers That lag in the back You know what I'm saying In the middle of the pack They don't know yet Then you see the ones in the back They already made this Man my mom and daddy don't give a fuck. That starts right there. Yeah. It start, cool. that, that starts right there. You get what I'm saying? Because when all of them kids get older, you may have something that, that, that was in the front that, that just get lazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's content. But you may have maybe one or two from the, that set from in the back of the class that changed their life. But every, majority of the shit just going to stay the same. Right. Majority of the shit. You get what I'm saying? So we understand from the moment, from the moment we understand that we black out here, that's when that's when we gotta prove ourselves. Mm. We gotta prove ourselves every single day. Every time we get out the car, every time we go to the store, every time we go to work, like it's just whatever. We just gotta be perfect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We gotta represent ourselves not like the rest. It's just what it is. Cause they got a lot of people like us, you know what I'm saying, that don't behave like they should. They're out there stealing, robbing, you know what I'm saying, just being disrespectful, all type of shit. So the media already portray us as thugs and thieves and we dirty. You know what I'm saying? We always, you know, drugs, shooting, killing. Like, mm-hmm. that's that's how they define us. So when you you just have to move different to show yourself that you're not part of that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, we got to work 10 times as harder because of what surrounds us. Like, we can't work what's portrayed out there. You know what I'm saying? We, we can't work against that. But we, we have to. Like, mm-hmm. everything you see now is, like, think about the music that's on the radio now. Like, ain't, ain't too much, no more R&B, no more. Like, it's shooting, killing, fucking hoes. You got women, all they doing is twerking. They want to fuck. They want the bag. I haven't heard a positive song on the radio. On, on, on some long, real shit. Long, long, on some long, real long, shit. Long, like, telling us to, hey, go get it. Hold on some real shit. Be accountable for anything. I haven't heard anything. So, like when it. you got people actually moving the way they're supposed to move, it's, it's hard. Because you got everybody looking at you like you came from out of space. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, nah, like, this is normal. I've been this way. So, Kenny T, you feel like as a black man, it's a constant need to prove yourself in society? I'm glad you repeated the question. Yeah, but I think the reason why is because 90% of the time we are the sore thumb. 
and the whole situation. And then we like, talk about your, that. Look at your job. Mm-hmm. Whenever you're in a group of people, you probably 10% of the group of 20 that's in your field. True. Like, so you, they can't relate to you. They don't understand how you live, how you work. And so you got to prove that you're not lazy or what the media projects you as. So that's what normally what people do. They see what they see on the media. So that's how they think of your your skin color or who you are. And that's how everybody is. I mean, if they don't, mm-hmm. they, they judge a book by its cover at first. Mm-hmm. So I think that's, that's the real problem. Cause you know, in the U S they only, most jobs only got to hire 10%. The majority of the company only has to have what? 10% minority. That's true. So what, guess what they're going to do? Hire 11%. <laughs> They not gonna go over that. Yeah, they just go. Yeah, and it's I don't, I don't. Sometimes it's it's purpose. It's on purpose. And other times I think it's just because, you know, in the hiring process, they don't relate to us. They don't relate how we talk, how we move, how our body know. language is, what they see. It's just like in school when you don't, when you have a white teacher teaching to a whole bunch of black kids, it's hard for them to relate to how we work or how right. we move or how we think or how we talk, how our our tone is. You know, it's instead when you have like a black teacher, the if you have a black teacher, even a black male student. I mean, the black male teacher, the black male is going to relate to that teacher instantly because mm-hmm. they're going to be like, damn, I'm inspired now. Like, I see a black male doing something that I haven't seen before, you know, and if they see a black woman teaching, they're going to be like, oh, shit, I can see her as my mom. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. looking at her it's like, hey, this my when I come in here, I'm not going to disrespect Miss Miss so-and-so because right. mm-hmm. shit, she's going to tell me straight off. She know how to relate to me, how to talk right. to me as right. a, you know, a woman. When you see, a, you know, Miss Miss Tammy up there, you're going to be like, all right, whatever, <laughs> I ain't doing this homework because yeah. we can't relate. We can't move. And I think that's the same way in the HR process. They don't understand. Like, okay, I see this black man. First of all, if you don't look good to them, it's, you're already on a downfall. Mm-hmm. True. Then second, if, if you don't have a, a, a proper tone or talk in this, a sense or a way that they talk to each yep. other, it's, you're already on another downfall. So I think that's mm-hmm. that's a, another downfall to why we have it hard and, you know. No matter what them credentials are. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's it's just about how can how can people relate to you. Mm-hmm. Now, if, it was, if the hiring process was, you know, a whole board full of black people, Shit, I think the hiring process would be higher. I guarantee you would, because you can relate. You understand, True. you see it. True. You're not left out. Yeah, I, I would agree. I, I feel like as black men, we got to prove ourselves in every aspect of society. You start from like when we growing up. Like we got to prove how tough we are to each other mm-hmm. when we growing up. Then when we leave that, that household, we go to college. Again, we are a minority in most colleges that we go to. So we got to prove that we belong. We got to prove that we're not dumb. We got to prove that we're not, you know, super aggressive. We know how to dress. We know how to handle ourselves in, you know, environments that are uh, of prestige. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, leave that situation. You get in your relationship. You got to prove yourself to your girl. You got to prove that you're not like all these other niggas that she done been with or that you're not, you know, um, out here just trying to smash or that you're not going to cheat on her every week and, do, you know, all that kind of stuff. You got to just, you know, it's a constant need to prove yourself at all times. You know what I'm saying? So I think... Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that that we have it the hardest, but we definitely have it hard for sure. It's a constant need to prove ourselves, and it's messed up because because of that constant need. I feel like it's rare that we really get to hit our ceiling mm-hmm. because we're so close to. I mean, we're so focused on just trying to prove that we belong. Who have it harder than us, though? Black women, I think. That's true. I, I think the other problem is we always make it a competition. Awesome. True. Mm-hmm. True, true. Like true. when that one person succeeds, it's like, oh shit, this this motherfucker you doing. I got, I, I do it better than him, and I'm gonna right. shit on him when I'm doing better than him. Mm-hmm. Right. I ain't even took no steps yet. <laughs> you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's like, oh, I see him doing good, man. He ain't doing nothing. You know, right. I'm gonna hate on him. Right. And then when I'm doing good, I'm gonna shit on this person doing mm-hmm. it. When you just came from that same area, <laughs> like you came from down there instead of helping oh. him, you gonna shit on him. That's it. Oh, I see it all day too. Niggas are getting to position. Oh yeah, as soon as they get there, I don't know that nigga, man. Yeah, I don't know him. Yeah, so I mean, it's you know it's messed up, man. But that it is what it is. But shout out to you know all of us that's still thriving and doing what we got to do anyway. You know what I'm saying? And and busting down doors and that all actually looking back to help and bring somebody in because I know shit. Once I get in position, we bringing the whole. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing. We bring the whole gang in. Everybody I can bring in that look like me, we bringing them in. It just is what it is. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody that got that kind of mindset and that's helping to push the culture forward, man. All the strong black men. For sure. Uh, The last quick hits of the day is the Bible hurting the black community. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Yes. You sent this in smooth? Big time. No, I didn't send that. (laughs) Yeah, I I should have. I should have. (laughs) Yes. Do you want to elaborate as to how? That book was given to us by our slave masters. 
<clears throat> this is facts. The people that that's the Ku Klux Klan, all these motherfuckers, they praise the same God y'all praising. Who winning? Who who do y'all God listen to the most? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like if, if, if for real, for real, if, if goddamn me, if, if, if the South would have gave the North some money, we still wouldn't be allowed to read. You get what I'm saying? If we if they if they wouldn't have, if the South wouldn't have been selfish with they fool ass <laughs> and looked at the whole little, little hey look we need to get these niggas some money man make the top the farmland we gonna we gonna control the real wealth which is the refineries and we gonna keep all this shit. You know what I'm saying The the real money down here We're Mm -hmm. gonna let them niggas Have some money If they just did that Instead of saying Fuck y'all We're gonna take the form into We're gonna take the (laughs) cotton We're gonna take We're gonna take take all We're gonna take it for That's what they did They was like Fuck y'all We taking the refinery We taking all the cotton And we taking the form If they If they wouldn't have did that We'd still be in slavery Mm -hmm. We still wouldn't be allowed to read We still wouldn't You know what I'm saying Wouldn't have no right None of that shit We'd still be living in fucking huts Picking cotton this is facts, bro. But a lot of niggas don't want to get to that. And when we learn the Bible through the Europeans, who the Europeans is? The white people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. This, is, this, this is all facts. This, this is all verifiable facts you can look all up. All facts. This is all you know facts. Then on, top, hey, then on top of that, this is facts. That's all facts. That's for real. This segment, then on top this of that, why, why all these kings and, 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 and pharaohs we've been digging up through, through, through all this time, hundreds of thousands of years. All of them been black, right? Yep. All of them very, the documented in their tombs, all that shit, who their name is and all this shit, right? Why we ain't never find nobody from the Bible? We ain't never found Moses. We never found Jesus. You know what I'm saying? We never found none of these motherfuckers that was influential staples in that book. We never what? found these motherfuckers. Because Jesus rose. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lying? No, you see that nigga? <laughs> On that third day, he did what? With all power in his hands. All right. Okay, okay. Let's say that. Let's say that is real. You know, we know, we know that's false. <laughs> let's say that's real. Let's say we say that's real. Where everybody else at? Hey, they can't. They, they, everybody ain't Jesus. But we can find you we see, can find a king. You see, he we, got we game. Can, we can find you see a he king. Got game? Stop playing with there. These boys going to hell. On I'm just, hey, I'm, I'm well, just, man. I'm just, I'm just calling a spade a spade, man. I'm just calling a spade a spade. Like all that shit is fake, bro. All mm. that shit, all that shit is made. I mean, it's, it, the symbol it represents is great. It's great, absolutely, for real, for real. But as far as everything in that shit is all fake, bro. Actually, it how, gives how you hope. It's the it. greatest hope seller the world has ever seen. It's the best book the world has ever seen. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But we'll mm. put overvalues in it and we'll say, oh, in Jesus' name and all this shit. So Jesus killed your kid? Jesus uh uh had these kids because if everybody believed in Jesus, no. if Jesus uh had these kids born no. into uh Mm-mm. born in uh then it's the starving, devil. then it's the devil. It's it's the de- the devil is a lie. I'm just saying, I'm just if we gonna if we gonna if we can't be we can't we can't be then. on one side and not the other side. It's the devil then. You get what I'm saying? Oh, all these kids that's born into poverty or or that's born and, and, and get killed by somebody or get raped or something. They say kids are innocent until you were 13. That's what they say. That's what the books say. That's the devil. You get what I'm saying? But we not living like that. We only live like that when it benefits us, right? Mm. Yeah, facts. That's how they do. When it benefits but when some shit going on, oh, oh, that's the devil. Mm. But in that same book, they say, uh, the Jesus loved the devil the most. Well, God loved the devil the most, right? That's what these that's what they said in the book. Mm. If you really go into church, that's what they said. My you know what I'm saying? He was most he, he was his most beloved angel. My boy, my boy Eddie Murphy say, evil. You know what I'm saying? It's good. <laughs> Vampire Brooklyn. <laughs> See, evil is necessary. And then we and then and then the devil is the angel of music, right? That's what they say. That's what they, I'm just saying what they say. This is facts. <laughs> it's all facts. This, this, this is in the book. That's in that book. So I'm like, bro, like, come on, man. Come on. I wonder man. why they said the devil is the angel of music. They say he, black he, people's, he's the he angel was, in that book. Because he was music. an angel at one point, but he got jealous. Might be. He got jealous. They got say jealous. in that book that he got jealous because we had a uh, uh, we had a, a choice to be something. They didn't have choices. That's what he was angry about. So when God, that's what they say, when God cast him and his father was out of out of out of uh, out of heaven, so to speak, he couldn't touch us physically, but he can plant the seed. Mm-hmm. You get so what I'm saying? Yeah. So is that is that truly evil? If you got two, if you got two choices on the table, is it truly evil? 
Because they say God gives you a choice and he gives you a choice, right? That's very true. But that's true. So is it evil cool. if you pick, it, it, quote unquote, if you pick wrong? Is that evil? Depending is on it really a wrong way to pick? Nah, especially if you're not getting influence to do it. You get what it is? Shit like that, I just was looking like, come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all selling this to me? I ain't the old folk, man. I ain't the old folks coming from, uh, from under nothing and don't know too much of nothing. And this, mm-hmm. this is, you got to sell me some hope. Nah, you ain't got to do that to me. See, that's I'm confident point. in my own yeah. self. That's the reason I think it went so far is because so many people was in despair. And lost. And mm-hmm. that's the only thing they had to hold on to. Right. That mm-hmm. something positive, some hope. They had some hope that something, maybe something positive was going to come because God say, they you know, us. state of plight and, you know, whatever uh, gives his toughest battles to his hearts, all that, mm-hmm. all that shit. Mm-hmm. They got something to hold on to. And so, you know what I'm saying? And I think that it, that it hurts us because we lost out on a lot of progress waiting. Mm-hmm. A lot of people yep. that's that's in that yep. that's deep deep Christians they really feel like it's just gonna you know, come. It's gonna come. God yep. is gonna take care of it. Just you know pray about it. Yep. And in reality, you know it don't work like that. You you got to put the work in mm-hmm. to yeah. get where you want to get. I look at this shit. I used to go. I, man, fuck it. I'm gonna say the church. Fuck it. I don't, I don't go to church no more. I used to go to New Life Christian Center, right? You know what I'm saying? If you if you from the south, you done heard of this channel. You done heard of this church. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say the the, the dude name over. But it's a real big church. He got like six churches around Houston and Austin, like like going Houston, Beaumont, Austin, goddamn Dallas, all that shit, right? So I'm looking at this shit, all this money they making. They they like the old things type of shit, for real, for real. You get what I'm saying? I'm looking at all this money. I'm like, damn. And I'm looking around the the the, the congregation, so because they say the church is the people. Mm-hmm. That's how y'all know I didn't been to church. I mean, I know some shit, right? So I'm looking around, and a lot of these motherfuckers poor. Yep, a lot of hundred percent. I'm yeah. talking like 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 barely eating type paycheck of shit, to like paycheck. paycheck to paycheck Straight type up, of shit, or worse, yeah. But you got the pastor pulling up, and and, and we talking S five fifty back in the day. Mm. You get what I'm saying, big boy. You pulling up in S five fifties limos, but your people starving. I don't agree with that because if I'm the head of the snake, if I'm ahead of this shit, my people ain't gonna be starving. Yeah, if I'm making millions a weekend, you better believe I'm buying some land somewhere. Hey, look, I, I, I'm setting all this up. I'm, I'm building a goddamn uh, 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 a goddamn grocery store. I'm building a neighborhood and a school here. This is for my people. You get what I'm saying? Just stay investing over here. This is where the money going. Fuck the mm-hmm. fuck the building over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to see my people make it right. So I'm looking at this shit. I'm looking at all this shit, man. And then the most the the, the most fucked up shit happens in the church house. Mm-hmm. And why they never Not speak about. When uh, the, most churches for black people are, are black churches, black owned churches, they only go see black black pastors, right? So these motherfuckers, they'll be good. So we'll go see all these black pastors, right? Why y'all don't never speak on when black people get killed? I I never seen a, a a a black preacher come out and say, "Oh man, they killing black folk out here, man. We going ride." They never say that. But on say Sunday pray you about want it. the black money. You say prayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they say just pray about it. On Sunday you want the black dollar, have but you're faith. not out here. Yeah. Have faith the size of a mustard seed. You yep. get what I'm saying? Because the government pays you not to say anything. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So you only with really you only with the black people because it benefits you. You know what I'm saying? But if churches had to pay a tax, church would be a whole lot different, different ball game. Yeah. It'd be a whole lot different out here. And that's what people don't understand is they don't understand all that type of shit. They just see what's put in front of them, what they what they parents taught them and all that shit there. But church is big business. That's all it is. And if it was a taxable business, it wouldn't be big business no more. Because niggas agree. wouldn't do that. I agree. Yeah. So that's what I think about it. Yeah, like like I said before, like I feel like the foundation itself, the spirituality, I feel like people need that in a sense. But as far as just putting your all and investing everything into the Bible, no, I disagree. You know what I'm saying? Because you do have people still people still need principles of life. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be killing people. That's what you just shouldn't do unless they a threat to you, mm-hmm. which is understandable. You know what I'm saying? Obeying your parents. That's something that you should be do. You know what I'm saying? Sim- simple shit like that. I feel like, you know, honor your, your brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, just being loyal. You know what I'm saying? I, I think definitely, you know, stuff like that. But when people use that for weak, you know what I'm saying? Especially for weaker people, when they use it against them, it's like that's all they have. Mm-hmm. And then they cling to it. And that's all they know. You know what I'm saying? Because there's too many times where you'll have aunts and uncles and, you know what I'm saying, family members where they just, all they're doing is praying and praying and praying and don't do nothing. You, yeah. can't, you can't just pray and hope things come. 
You know what I'm saying? And so they don't exercise going out there and getting it for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because they just praying, oh, yeah, God's going to come and answer my prayers mm-hmm. one day. Oh, he's an on-time God. It's gonna, <laughs> he may not come when you want him, <laughs> but he's he going to be there on time. No, nah, because a lot of times it's not. That's just reality. And he only come after you put the work in. You know what I'm saying? But you and don't then, need no credit. And you got, you got people praying. You know what I'm saying? You got people praying. Like, say somebody's in the hospital. They praying and praying and praying. And something happens. You know, they, they love one pass away. Then what? Now you mad at God because he took your, you know what I'm saying, somebody you love close away. Uh-uh. God do everything for a reason. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, exactly. And, that's, and I was going, I was getting to that. But then, so that's what so they say. you either mad or you saying everything happened for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You just got to let things be. Like, sometimes it just was a time. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just what it is. But you can't, like, I feel like a lot of people just rely too heavily on that. And whenever things don't go the way they want, now they blaming God for it. When that's just, it's just life. It ain't got nothing to do with God sometimes. Well, a lot of times. It's just a part of life. And if y'all, if y'all just took a step back just a little bit, yes, exercise some of those principles, being honest, just being real, just respectful, all those basics, yes. I, I feel like a lot of those stories are in there to teach you, like, yeah, you're going to have bumps and bruises. Like, at the end of the day, that's what it is. You're going to have bumps and bruises. You're going to have people that betray you. That's a part of life. Mm-hmm. But you should keep going. You should right. keep working, not just sitting on your ass and just praying and hoping and wishing that something good happens. No, it don't work like that. So that's my that's little spiel. Kenny T, you got something to add to this? What's the question? The question is, do you feel like church and the Bible is ruining the black community? Is it just church or is it the Bible? Which one? Shit. Well, the church is the people, so let's say the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. No. I don't think the Bible is hurting the black community. Mm. I think the church is. But the Bible itself, you can interpret anything you read on your own. Mm-hmm. You can interpret words however it's put in that, in that book on your own. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people read the, a lot of people read the Bible, but they interpret it differently. Every pastor interprets that Bible with the words differently. So I think it's a good way to, you know, almost as a motivational book. Basically, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, you read certain certain lines or certain words about it, and you say, okay, how can I interpret this to my life? Mm-hmm. How can I persuade this or move this to where, hey, this is how my life is going, you know? How can I build upon this? So the Bible itself, no, I don't I don't think it's a hurt to the black community. But the church itself, yes. Because the church itself, I think, is just a big way to make money. And for you to listen to somebody else tell you how a book that they read, how they how they interpret the words and how you should go about those words they read. No. I think if it's a book right there for you, you should read it yourself and then you interpret yourself and then don't give your mind to somebody else to read it to you. Mm. You go buy an audio book and let and you don't have to go every month to, you know, sit there and, and go to a gathering and and spend ten percent of your <laughs> earnings though, for ties for that because that, that that's a big thing for me. Church, you, you go into any black community, it's a church, maybe on every block. But mm-hmm. in a white community, it's not like that. Nope, mm-hmm. it's one big church. That's it, one church. You ain't got a church right there beside somebody's house. You ain't got a church two blocks down. Yep. you know, fighting over oh, come to this church. This church, what we doing? Oh, right. come to pastor. Man, come on now, that's just a big money pond a Ponzi scheme. Another pyramid scheme, basically, that they ain't got to get taxed for. And that's a lot of, a lot of black people use that the way to get money. Just and they go be going, going to that's, church four times a week and you got to put offering in every time you go. Yeah, you, you using all your time to do that. And people ain't got no, they trying to pay bills, trying to buy groceries. Everybody, everybody going to pray to their own God or God, God's, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. You know, you have something that you pray to. That's, I mean, we all do. We all have something that we pray to or, or say hey, thank you to. You know what I'm saying? Well, I say I do. You know, I don't, I'm not just a God person. I believe there's a higher power, but I'm yeah. not just into a God or a certain skin tone of God or right. God was white or black, whatever, you know, but just the Bible itself for you to interpret it how you want to interpret. It, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's a motivational book for hope and, and understanding and balance mm-hmm. of some things, but church, no, I don't agree with church. Yeah. Shout out to, uh, the great furious styles who said, you know, Something similar to the liking of it's a liquor store on every corner in the hood for the same reason it's a church on every corner in the hood. Yep. It's a coping mechanism. Yep. Because we in despair. We the ones that's in poverty. We the ones wondering how we gonna pay our bills, right? And you go in this building and this building is supposed to fill you with hope and motivation and all kind of stuff to go out there and do what you need to do. And again, just like I said earlier, that's that's cool. I get that. The guidelines and all of that, you know, living right, I get. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that that Provides us with a crutch 
that I feel like has been holding us back for centuries. And but I will say this, I will say the new generation is asking a lot more fucking questions than the old generations in right. regards to that. Old generation just interpreted the book, took whatever the pastor was saying, all right, we riding with it. New generation, we not going for that. No, no, no. What do you mean by when you say da 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 mm -hmm. How does that apply to me? I, 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 you said that, mm -hmm. but you said this, and that contradicts that. Right. What do you, you know what I'm saying? We we asking a lot more questions. One plus one got to equal two in regards to us. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as far as to answer the question, I do feel like it hurts the black community. That's that's just my opinion. But, you know, again, to each his own. I'm not saying that everybody got to think how I do. And, you know, that's the beauty of having an opinion. Uh, on that note, man, we're going to get into the advice column. All right. First one of the day. This is from M.E. Panama, Patreon member. Shout out. Um, down. Oh, this is going to be good. Um, I'd like to know how you guys have dealt with volatile women in your past. I watched a family member for more years than they should deal with a very toxic girlfriend. She was always with drama in, in any form. The women in my family had to step in when she started getting physical because as a man, he would have been arrested. They both are 20 now, and it's extremely sad for a young lady that young to feel she has to move like that. So how do y'all deal with volatile women? Deal with what? Volatile women. Deal with what? Volatile women. No, no, you're not hearing what? him. You're not hearing him. You're hearing him, but you're not hearing him. Deal with what? <laughs> but I mean, but, I mean, but volatile, they can be volatile in multiple ways. It necessarily right. got to be physical. You're right. But she talking physical. Yeah, no, okay. you can, I don't care yeah, what it yeah, is. It's you, about time, right? Physically, mentally. Dealing with what? Vocally. What? 22? Yeah. They 20? 20, 20 even. She, 20. They just turned 20. Yeah. Oh, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> Ski. I don't deal with that. that I'm, not doing, I'm not doing that. And if I was back in my 20s, I still probably wouldn't deal with it. I don't deal with that drama shit. It's, it's nothing good for you. If anything that you do to me affects my happiness and how I move about daily life, it's... And it's she no doing that to him. She doing that to him because he know, she know that he not going to hit her back. You know it. Mm -hmm. You know it. Any type of violence? No. That ain't right. First time he raised her hand going. and give her that good backhand. Not even because <laughs> you know the front hand hurt more than that backhand. But a nigga, first time a nigga scrape her face with with them fingernails, boy. Oh, it's gotta go too it far. Ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't happening. <laughs> it ain't happening. I'm not putting myself in that position. There ain't no type of love on this earth. No, mm -hmm. right. make me stay from something that's affecting my mental balance, yeah. my physical and mental balance. I would agree. I grew up in a household where it was a lot of arguing. And I said to myself, when I left that household, I would not deal with that. The first sign of uh, validity, I'm gone. It's just simple and plain, especially if you touch me. It's physical, anything. Like, I don't care. It ain't no reason. Ain't no excuse. Ain't nothing worth nothing that you're going to be able to say for me to stay. It's over. Good luck. Love you. But I got to love you from a distance. Straight and that's just how I feel with that zero tolerance policy. I don't care. Period. That's real. That's Cause real. if I even gotta think about putting my hands on you, we done. Straight up, we done. That's a wrap. I might hit one more time. But I ain't got much to say. <laughs> <laughs> I might hit one more time. <laughs> oh, you say what? I ain't got much to say about that. I mean, I had my my little instance, but that was that was terrible. I never, I would never wish that shit on nobody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I was just trying to deal with it because she was choking you. <laughs> 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 Listen, I ain't gonna say what I did. She put her hands on you. She put, <laughs> she put it like this. <laughs> she gave me a nigga. She gave me a mean two piece. <laughs> oh no, dog! When ain't I tell no you, ain't no way, bro. I picked her up like Andre the Giant. <laughs> ain't no way, bro. Bro, and politely put her down. Ain't and no way, bro. Time to go. This it wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have been no in the face talking. It wouldn't have been nothing in the face. Was it at your place? At my so, place. Oh no, she and she ain't paying no bills. And she, she been this homeless like, right then and This was after. Well, this was like after. nah. She would have been out after. The, she was already out. She was. She was already out. But it was, she but why she was she back in? I'm trying to see what I was doing. And you let her in. You let her in. No, I didn't. That was the problem. That's why she. That's why she swung because I wouldn't let her in. I'd have closed oh, the door in her face been, oh, before man. she even got to that point. What you doing here? You know what? Get out of here. Click. <laughs> Damn. I looked at that people <laughs> and went sat right down. That's the thing. Like the 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 expectation for men in them situations is so unrealistic. Mm -hmm. Like like you cannot win. If you hit her back, you lose. If right. you call the police press charges, you you soft or right. you weak. Right. It's just, it's no way to win in that, bro. And that's why I want no parts of it, bro. I'm out. I'm 
be a soft, weak motherfucker because I'm calling That's the cops. And I'm crying on the phone, too. <laughs> she hit me. She, she been hitting me for months. I need a restraining order. No. Dang, bro. You get the restraining <laughs> order, you soft. You press charges, you soft. You hit her, you soft. You a cop. It's no way to win. Pull that, that thin line between love and hate. Just have a bunch of scars on you and shit. Yeah, yeah. like, fam, we done. So, uh, but yeah, on to the next one. Uh, what's up, y'all? I need some advice on a few things, and I got a question, too. First, I'm in a situation uh, where someone broke the trust I had in them, and it was my girlfriend. Uh, she didn't cheat, but at least I don't have solid proof. But we got together last year, September 16th, mm-hmm. after talking for about three-ish months. Mm-hmm. At first, I was dead set on not getting into a relationship. I told her from the jump, no cap, and she still messed with me anyway after sex. Mm-hmm. I said, again, this ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. And she cried in my face. <laughs> And I left her place after a month of us being together. Damn, my God, short changed that question again. I, this is Bilal, Patreon member. Let me make sure. That, that question kind of weird. I don't. It, That's one he sent me. I don't know. Let me see. It was he there sent, for three months, and then, he sent me one too, but it was a voice message. So uh, my message had cut off. Uh, me. Me typing, I, I don't know what happened, but to get to get the story what happened. So basically, I met the girl last year, around I want to say about June ish. We talked for about two months, but from the jump, I told her, hey, I'm not really looking for a relationship. I got two jobs, and I'm finna start working out here again. I'm not gonna really have the time for a relationship. And uh, she was cool. She said, okay, we can just talk whatever. I'm like, cool. So fast forward, uh, August around uh, mid August. She's like, hey, come down here, come see me, blah, blah, blah. She live in Huntsville, I live in Dallas. So I do. About two and a half. Meet up, talk, whatever, have a little old date, whatever. I fuck. And I told her again, like, after we got to having sex, I was like, hey, you know, this not going to be nothing right. And she started crying. And so she's like, you using me? I said, no, I told you what this was from the jump. She's like, I understand that. But she said, hearing it in person versus you texting it to me, it just hit different. I said, well... It is what it is. So I left. She talked to me for about a week, and then at the end of that week, she texted me again. She's like, "Hey, I want to come see you. I mean, I want I want to see you again." So I'm like, "Okay." In my head, my like, shit. All right, go see her. We have sex again. Mid mid stroke, she says, "I love you." <laughs> I pretend I didn't hear it. <laughs> I just throw my time. <laughs> Don't man. throw off the count. <laughs> Talking, she whispered, "I love you again." And started crying. I'm like, "What you crying for?" She said, "Cause you're gonna leave me." You know, just all this other bullshit. And so we just started talking. And then in my head, um, I weighed the options. I was like, you know what? She seems like a genuine girl. Just the energy feels, oh, it, it feels genuine. So I'm like, you know what? Let me give this shit a shot. You know, even though it is a long distance relationship, this is my first relationship, mind you, my very first relationship. And I'm like, you know what? Let's give this shit a shot. So we get together, whatever. A month later, around uh, October-ish, because we got together on September 16th, a month later, some nigga calls her at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm talking about blowing her phone up, texting her, and it wakes us up. And naturally, I'm pissed. I'm like, well, who the fuck? This nigga calling at 3 o'clock in the morning, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And uh, wow. I'm getting my clothes on. I'm going to leave and shit. She's like, don't wait, don't go. It's just some random dude who's like me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we was never nothing serious. Uh, and he just thought I was just still single and free, and you know, I, I haven't told him that uh, I got a boyfriend now. So I'm still mad, so I'd leave regardless. I was like, fuck this, I'm, I'm going back to Dallas. And uh, keep that in mind. So let's fast forward up until March, her birthday. This whole time, she's been pressing me about my past. Like, she's always asking me questions like, how many bodies do you have? Um, and uh, like, how many girls have you been with? How many girls you talking to before me? I'm like, why does that matter? First, I told you the numbers before we were together um, when we were just talking. And then why you ask me this now? It doesn't matter in relationship. She went to my phone once. The f- well, I'm sorry. She went to my phone twice. But the first time I called her because we was at my uh, parents' house. I was getting my mail. Uh, and she was so deep in my phone. She didn't see me walk up to the car until I opened the door and she jumped. And she heard me put my phone down. So naturally, I picked it up. And my messages app was open up. Them bitches would scroll all the way to the bottom. And I looked at her like, yeah, they going through my phone. She went digging, and, digging, uh, digging. Watch my messages app open. She said, uh, I was changing music. I said, the message app is open. She said, I didn't open it. Changing I said, music. really? It opened up by itself. She said, I don't know. 
What you listen to music for? So fast forward, I'm on play it. She went through my phone again. I called her. These these two times I called her, and I'm like, yo, my nigga, why are you going through my phone? Then she finally confessed the second time. She's like, hey, I've been cheated on my last relationship. I got insecurities. He was mentally and physically abusive, all this other shit, right? So I'm like, Excuses. Eh, whatever. So March 5th was her birthday. Nigga, we have a good time. We drive to Houston, went to the Grand Tessany Hotel, have a good time, come back home. She calls me at 4 o'clock in the morning and says, hey, I'm at the hospital, blah, blah, blah. Um, I got an STI infection. So we get to talking about it. I'm like, are you okay? This and the thing. I don't know what STI is. I only, heard, only, I have only ever heard of STDs. So I'm like, what the fuck is that? And she's like, you can get it from sex, uh, bacteria, bit up, all the other stuff. So in my head, I'm thinking you're cheating on me because I'm like, I'm clean. I know I ain't got nothing. Where the fuck this shit come from? And then as we're talking, she let it slip that the dude who called her way back when we first got together was a random Joe Blow. It wasn't. It was actually her ex, the nigga that was abusive and shit. So now I'm like really mad and like, you you lied to me. I'm like, this nigga wasn't some random guy. This was actually your ex. And was y'all still fucking whatever this and the third? She's like, no, we, we not. It is, we just talk once a week. And uh, he just normally calls me randomly. And I'm like, yo, why did you lie about that being a random guy when I was really your ex? And you, why did you just tell me that right then and there? She said, because I was scared you're going to leave me. And in my head, I'm like, now nah, I'm really going to leave your ass because you didn't lie about that. And now I'm thinking, you and your old man, you and your old man been basically fucking this whole time while we were together. That's where does that STI come from? So I don't know what to do. And I don't know how to basically let her regain her trust back. Because I'm just stuck. And this is Dang. the end of this message. Ali! Ali, man. Man, what? What? What are you doing? <laughs> you got the dean on the line just, and you acting like this? You just sat here and said that she got an STI and her old ex had an STI. That's what she said, right? No, yeah. she, she, said that, oh, she said that old ex had an STI. No, she didn't say she that. She said she went to the... She just called him and said, "Where you think she got it from?" I mean, no, I, no, I understand. I'm just she, telling you oh, what she okay. said. It popped out of nowhere because y'all been the, having sex previously before, and he said he ain't have one unless right. he ain't go get tested. That she told me that because right. if you if it was me, you call me and say, oh, "I'm at the hospital, I got STI, motherfucker, I'm going to the hospital right. the next day." Right. So, like, hey, like, well, that let, day, let's let's go look it up. Was was let's go look it up. Let's go look it up. Is it me? Because I ain't had nothing going on beforehand. I have no no sign, no nothing. I think she she told him without telling him. Yep. So hold on. I got I got lost a little bit because when he said about? initially. I got lost lost initially. Mm-hmm. He said that he told her, "Hey, this ain't what it is." Uh-huh. Yeah. How did he we go from that to being in a relationship? Because he, 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 said, he said after they she came for the second time, came down. They they met up a second time. Right. Yeah. In uh, Dallas, she came to see him in Dallas. Mm-hmm. And they had sex, and she whispered. Yeah, hey, I told love him you. she loved you. Yeah. And then she whispered in his ear, I love you. And she started mm-hmm. crying. And he was like, you know what? I was in the moment, whatever. I said, okay, let's make it work. <sighs> go for it. That's yeah. what he fucked. He said, the first got, mistake. He's, he's never been in a relationship. Nothing going on. Fuck it. Let me see right. what this is. He's she, never been in a relationship before, like so he just girl. said, fuck it. So she finessed him into the relationship. That's your first mistake. He finessed himself. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that's true. Okay. He did. Because, because he willingly set the bar again. We yeah. done spoke on it before. It don't take men long to realize whether you got potential or not. And he knew that she didn't have it. But he. Took the I love you and her crying, and he was sensitive to that, and folded to her demands. Finessed him, and so now she talking about her, her and her ex speak every week. Hold on, fam. Uh, hold. Hold now I'm in the hospital with STI. You in the hospital? STI. <laughs> you ain't even got your, your family doctor. You in the hospital? STI. What a sexually, sexually transmitted, transmitted infection. infection. Yeah, okay. STI. That not a yeast infection. That mean the pH is off. She had too many bodies, and he's saying what to. He don't know what to do. They don't call STD. They don't call STDs. They don't call STDs no more. They call them STIs. Mm-hmm. Sexually transmitted infection is not a sexually transmitted disease. They mm-hmm. call them STIs. I it was both, yeah, because the infection oh, okay. infection mm-hmm. ain't like gonorrhea. Mm-hmm. Infection is like when your pee burn. Or, like, my name, like either my name. or, oh, it's it sexually or. transmitted. Yeah. <laughs> Let's it get was, down. It was transmitted. Let's get down sexually. to this. She getting more than one dick. <laughs> Let's <laughs> keep it stacked. She what it more down. She to. got one clean dick she, and one dirty she, dick. Nah, it's two dirty. One, one burning off. One, one, one about clean. to burn off. 
So she had to make sure the she, dicks she are, put everything in line. The dicks are counteracting. Hey, <laughs> hey, my other dick was burning. I'm making sure I ain't burn you with this thing. <laughs> you okay? You okay? I'm okay. <laughs> Yo, Ooh. she a cold piece of work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, you know in in in, in oh February, you know when it was God. cold outside, your problem was it a little warm? <laughs> Ali, because mine was a little hot. And he's she, saying what to Ali, do. Ali, she Ali. getting dick. Leave her alone, bro. Leave her alone, Ali. ASAP. I wouldn't even. Hey, for real though, I wouldn't even hit again, bro. I wouldn't. Hit again? Never. <laughs> you want to burn some Yo, You know what I'm saying? She just said that on the phone. I'd hung up. She never heard me again. I got SCI. Get over. Get out of here. Uh, who? I would I would appreciate the call. I respect the call. But fam, we ain't. I would have never said I'm going to be in a relationship with you. First of all, if you're not ready for it, don't say yes. Don't even jump into it. Because now you're dealing with a whole bunch of drama. And, and you got to realize, Ali, this is going to scar you. <laughs> You childish. It is hard. <laughs> Damn. Be playing our shit. Damn. You know, this is something. <laughs> Damn, I mean, I want to Damn. Hey, it is. Damn. Bro, I think the answer to this question is real simple, big dog. Real simple. Now. No longer hurt. You no longer burn you. You got to get out the spot, man. Welcome. Hey, it's not right, right for her to say this. this but it's coming from a heart. It's been a long, long time, time burn is. You just been fed up all. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, no. Fam, I think the answer to this question is Let's extremely go simple. go our separate ways. Exactly. When I, I pee, it always burns. Oh. And it hurts, and it, baby. <laughs> it ain't working, baby. <laughs> So trash. <laughs> I got so I many hoes. I'm trying to fall. Man, bro, <laughs> let that go. I think that bro. you just made me burn. <laughs> Ain't no hey, trust to get back. And then back, on top man. of that, she disrespected you in your face and said it so quick. Oh, I just talked to him once a week and tried to push. I bet she tried to push past that. Ali, no. I don't mean to laugh at your situation like no. that because I appreciate you calling in. You know, bro. Me, you know, yeah. Patreon oh, member and all that. But you know what she's supposed to do in this situation. Come on, exactly. bro. Let it go. You don't even hey, want to be there. You fact, just did it just out of uh, generosity. Right. Exactly. Fuck so that. you good. So you I good. got a mission for you. Let it go. Don't send him on a I got a mission for you. Go to the doctor. That's true. Do you definitely you get to check up? Send her on her way. Bitch. But once you once you get free and clear, I got a mission for you. Mm. <laughs> she embarrassed my student. I need you to go back around the circle. You done met her friends. Mm. One on one with you. Mm-hmm. You seek out the one and let them burn. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Damn. I said, make sure we clean no, no, no. and beat up brains out. Jesus. And then never speak to both of them again. That way you will come up in an argument, bitch. <laughs> it's your mission. Man, that's wild. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. Um, so yeah, on that note, big dog, man, you got to, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do in that situation. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next one, man. This is from How Jason Hayes. Tom? Patreon member. Uh, All right. Um, my boy Jason says, what's up, fellas? New to Patreon, but uh, we asked this question on our podcast, The Black Card, uh, and I think it was pretty interesting. Would you rather have a million dollars or have a weekend worth a million dollars with your favorite celebrity? Reason, there are plenty of millionaires walking around, but some life experiences are priceless. The part is hard, and uh, y'all keep up the good work. Appreciate you, bro, bro. Give me the million. I'm my ass is quick. Yeah, a million or like a million dollars worth of game, basically? Uh, no, a million or a million dollar experience. Like you only with getting the, a with piece the of their life. That with you the want. I want that whole meal. Give me the Give me million. million. Give, Give me, me that million. whole Give me million. million. Not like even a flex. And I'm gonna create flex my 10 million experience. And I'm gonna still meet the celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna create that experience. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be the celebrity. They're gonna wanna meet me. Yeah. Straight up and down. Uh Keep that That's short, a hell of sweet. a question though Yeah, yeah. For sure. Tricky question too Alright next one It's from Kevin Newman Patreon member Shout out Kevin Hey Hey I see y'all with the pay. No anonymous shit boy I see y'all niggas man So I got a question fellas How often do women double back Meaning they tell a guy no When he shoots his shot Then days Weeks Months Pass And she's like damn I Think I made a mistake Let me hit him up Seems like it's not often Or maybe it's me Love the pod Looking forward to the clubhouse chats also Nigga, it's often. 
I, very I say, often. I say it's a seventy percent chance. Yeah, there we go. Depending on how you're moving, how you elevated from the time you shot your shot to now. If you're still on the same basic route, you know, doing the bare minimum, eh, she probably ain't gonna double back. But if you start to elevate yourself and you know doing your thing, mm-hmm. there's an opportunity she gonna come back around and say, "Hey, I see you." Mm-hmm. Add a little her, her two likes, you know. Wish you a happy birthday. You ain't had a happy birthday from in sixteen years. <laughs> That's real. Oh man, you gonna get a little? They, they gonna shoot their little shot and see if you bite back again. It's true. Yeah, I, I would agree. I think um, you know, it's all, it's all about the glow. Sometimes it's just not your time at that point. You're not where you need to be, and a lot of times they doing you a favor. Because you may get with them before you're ready, and now you got insecurities in the relationship because mm-hmm. she's super bad. You're not making the money you're supposed to get. She getting attention from other dudes. Now nah, it's messing with your head because you're not where you need to be. Sometimes you need that no. For you to double back around, get yourself right, nice car, nice crib, good money coming in. So that way when you get her, you feeling like you belong, and the relationship got a better chance of surviving. So, uh, yeah, man, it's all about the glow, bro. Just know this. If she said no the first time, Trip of the brick when she come back. Amen. Trip Amen. Of the brick. You got to at least hit first before you say. Yes. Hey, <laughs> you got to at least really? know it's worth it. Yeah. I've only had that experience with like chicks I was in a relationship with or something like a relationship, not just regular chicks that double back. Yeah. That's because it's me. You know what I'm saying? They saw they saw the value. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to come back for that, but we ain't going to do that. It's always got to go too far. Man. I'm just telling the truth. I'm a hot commodity on these streets, baby. <gasps> There we go. Okay, on to the next one. This I is was going to say something, but I'm going to let you ride. I ain't going to I'm blast. a hot commodity. Let my man cook, man. I'm a hot. <laughs> my man cook. All right, on to the next one. This is from Chloe, Patreon member. Shout out, out Chloe, baby. What's going down? Um, she says, I believe women will submit to a man making less if he carries himself like a man. Well, at least that's how it is for me. What do y'all think? How much less? Right. It's a great question. But, mm, I feel her I feel her Cause a woman will do that But the respect gotta be there A real woman And the, yeah the real A real woman And The goal gotta be set mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying But if she already Making it by herself And a man steps into the wind Then that's not happening They mm-hmm. gotta come up together Type shit Like I, they gotta start off broke And then She gotta be the one To get the bag first Type of shit yeah. But so if she already She can't be with making like 150,000 And he making like 40 just off the that, real that, most because mostly most men only make about forty two thousand a year. Yeah, but it could happen. Yeah, it could happen. Yeah, but yeah. but the, all right, so it'd be say say you got both of them situations on the table, right? <laughs> if he meet the woman and she already at the one forty, she not submitting to him. Mm. I just that's she what not. I just said. But if if they if they both coming up together and she gets to one forty and he's at forty, yeah, she still gonna look at him like he the man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's it. it She's not looking at him like I gotta protect this because she knows the intent with him. You know what I'm saying? It's not a mystery. But with this other dude, you don't need especially these days. You know, back in the day, it was just it was mostly it was women. But now these days, we got opportunity. They call us opportunists, right? They call us opportunists. That's the male form of gold digger. You got a lot of them motherfuckers. You get what I'm saying? That's true. So she got shit to protect. Yeah. So that's the difference in it. So it's doable, but you got to come up with the person. Ot. Yeah. I feel like it's likely. Mm, that's hard That's hard Because I think It's possible But you really gotta First off I don't even think that Off top She probably shouldn't even know How much you make Like you should just move Like you make an X amount You know what I'm saying Like Now I'm not saying you Spend all your money But what I'm saying is If you still protecting You still providing All that stuff that they want You know what I'm saying And you Being a handyman around the house Like you Doing things that show Masculinity Right I think she's more willing to submit you know what I'm saying? You can't be lying. If you're going to do something, be a man of your word. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You being, you know, you got to pick the kids up or if you picking her up from work or whatever you got to do, like showing her interest and things like that, like mm-hmm. going above and beyond. Yeah. Because you're going to have to kind of make up some type of ground if you ain't bringing in that bread. Yeah. That's just what it is. So like Smooth said, like off top, just coming into it, I don't know. It's, it's kind of, no, I would say no initially, but that's something for the most part, yeah, I feel like y'all would have to kind of grow into that. But there are a lot of good men that's not making money like, you know what I'm saying, the women are. And they are a lot of good men out here, like being trash men and, you know what I'm saying, janitors and stuff like that, full-time job. They may have some other opportunity down the line, but you just can't stay there. Mm-hmm. I think that's the problem. And women always, a lot of times, they want more, 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 more. Mm-hmm. When well, you know a dude, a lot of times, men, we be content because it be so hard to get there in the first place. A lot of dudes just be like, all right, cool, I make my, my 50, 60, 
and they just chilling. I'm straight. Because I bills paid for, I have nothing to, you know what I'm saying, nothing to want for, I can take my trips, I can, you know what I'm saying, do X, Y, Z. So I'm comfortable. Why I put, add more stress to my life? Mm. I think a lot of times women, you know, they don't want that. They want somebody that's going to go get it. They want the next best thing. Like, okay, we accomplished this task, let's do that, and let's do some more. Which is not a bad mind frame to have at all, because you should be like that. Mm. Um, but yeah, off top, off top, I'm going to say no, but it's, it's, it's possible. Mm. Not a high chance, I, I would say 30%, if I had to say about 30%. Mm. So Kenny says 70 Wait, 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 what? What? 70 percent chance you say? That what? That the that like the man could could date a woman that's making more than him. Oh wait, wait, no, 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 that was, <laughs> not, wait, wait, no, that, that seventy was the the double back question. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay, so let me let me give you a scenario. Uh, one man making fifty, woman making one twenty. What's the chances? Not good. Mm. Her lifestyle is totally different from that man making 50. Mm-hmm. That's just facts. She going to eat at nice restaurants all the time. Her bill mm-hmm. come back, it's 200, 300 bucks mm-hmm. at a restaurant. That's, that's nothing. Yeah. Literally, that's like, okay, cool. Right. Whatever. To a man that's making only 50,000 um, a, a, a year, it's just like, <laughs> damn, lot. this bill 300 bucks. You can do that all the time. <laughs> you know yeah. He can do, do it, but not all the time. I can't, I can't do it more than once. Like, right. yeah. <laughs> more than one. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because that bill ain't gonna be two hundred. It's gonna be more than that because yeah. now you got to eat there with it. Yep. You know, instead two, three hundred, it's gonna be like four, five hundred. That's true. And you're gonna be like, oh shit. You know, this is the lifestyle I got. This is what she's used to. Mm-hmm. You got to. This is what I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? We just can't relate on that. If if she's a content with like, hey, I make like twenty thousand a year, but I don't eat, I don't live a lavish lifestyle. I don't live like a a uppity. I don't even want to call it uppity where I can afford these nice things. I'm cool with, you know, mm-hmm. I'll go to a Chili's or Applebee's or eat somewhere that's not expensive, a, a roadhouse or something, you know, just yeah. mm-hmm. something cool around the mellow. Then, yeah, I, th- I think that's cool. But that, that's always, there's always a possibility for something. Right. Right. But for it to last, he, him making 50 and her making 120. Because you know what's coming up. When they get in the argument, you know what's happening. For sure. You know what time it is. Sure. I mean, she make 120, she's going to want a house that's. Yeah Nice Yeah and You being a man You know how we said in society We gotta Pay these bills Pay this bill Do that This If she not One of them open people Like hey I'm, I'm willing to share everything I know mm-hmm. how much I make I'm, I'm cool with Right Fronting this part Right And if he's not cool with like Saying hey no I don't think you should do that As a man I should be doing all right. this and No right. it ain't gonna work It's a whole bunch of other steps That have to take place Exactly And people have to be comfortable with mm-hmm. For that relationship to work And I think it's too much things That have to work People have to be comfortable with, Comfortable with for it to work, for it to last like that. That's what I was about to get into. Comfortability, security. Yep. I feel like it's the main thing. Again, because a lot of men won't speak on this, but when you're dating a woman that's making that much more than you, it is a little intimidating. It is. It is. Because just like you said, her lifestyle is a certain way. She used to going out and spending hundred fifty dollars at happy hour to eat. At lunchtime to eat. Straight up. And that's your idea of an expensive dinner before you met her. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that can be intimidating. Like, we all say because it's, but it's ego. It's bravado talking or whatever. But once you get in that situation and you like, okay, well, she like, okay, well, I'm trying to go to Dubai. It costs 6000 What you going to put on it? And he making 50000 a year. It's like, eh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that could be a little intimidating. So, I think it was key what she said, like, you got to be a grown man in regards to that. You got to be really, like, comfortable in your skin, mm-hmm. secure with where you are. Type of situation enough for you to be able to commute. Look, baby, I can't afford that. Now, if you want to play that, you gonna you want to go there. You are gonna have to pay more. I mean, I could put up something, but you gonna have right. to pay more. Right. And you got to be secure in that. And a lot of men are not. If we just gonna That's keep it all it the way honest, yep. you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but do I think it's possible? Sure, but likely nah. To be honest, and then men at a lot at that level too. Like we always talking about, they dating up. So a lot right. of times they'll use that to their advantage. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Women spending all this money, and then now they. Catering. All the woman doing is catering, catering, catering to the man, mm-hmm. and he ain't reciprocating. Right. So yeah. he can't reciprocate because he ain't can't afford that. Right. But yeah, right, right. But he yeah. But he only got one time out the month, <laughs> and that's on your birthday. <laughs> Damn. You be broke <laughs> on your birthday or your Valentine's Day. <laughs> Damn. That's real. Christmas like, don't go broke trying to please somebody. Straight up. Yeah. That ain't that ain't that ain't your range. You got a range of where what what we said. Stay with your tax right? bracket. Uh, damn, my pocket range. Is there is there like a uh, 
Is it uh, uh, a league? Yeah, a league. league. Like you got, yeah. you got certain leagues. Mm-hmm. You just do. Yep. Next one. Uh, hey, I have a question for the guys with girls, but anybody's input is cool. So my friend has a girl, and they've been dating for seven years now. They're both around the age of 28 and don't live together. Mm-hmm. So, of course, everybody has a preference or a type of person they're attracted to. So in his head, instead of looking at other girls, why not let your girl know what you like and let her do that for you? As in, he just wants his girl to be in shape with a flat stomach. So it's not like it's too late for her already. She's a slim girl, but she's getting lazier and losing motivation to do any of that. He's already talked to her about it three years ago from today and keeps bringing it up. But still, no attempt to try and do anything about it. And uh, he even offers to go work out with her at the gym or at home. He doesn't want to be persuaded by outside interference, obviously, but she's not making it easy. So how much longer should he put up with this? If you need additional info, let me know. Oh, and you can definitely say my name and spread the word like a Jehovah's Witness. (laughs) Hey, this from Anthony Scott, Patreon member. (laughs) Damn. So he basically saying his girl don't want to work out. He like women with a flat stomach. When he met her, she had one. Now she don't. Now she she don't want to work out. How do you deal with that situation? I mean, if that's your deal breaker, or that's your partner deal breaker, bro. He should leave her if that's your deal breaker. He always gonna Damn. be unhappy, you know. You because you always gonna look at her a certain way. Right. If that's his deal breaker. Yeah. If that's your deal breaker, you need to deal. You need and to deal. Find somebody that doesn't mind doing that. But I'm gonna tell you right now, boy. I'm gonna tell you right, goddamn, nah. Realistically, boy, if you looking to have a family, you need to take that off your deal breaker list. Yeah, that's a fact. And once she start having kids, that shit over. <clears throat> Pardon me, that shit over with. I mean, don't get me wrong. She's going to work out, and it might get, like, flat-ish. But, mm-hmm. you know, once you start having kids, man, women's body change. It's so mm-hmm. it's so different and shit. So you got to be able to adjust to that. But if your man, you know, uh, dating her or whatever, and she don't have no kids and she ain't had none of that, but she just, just blatantly letting herself go, that's different. Yeah. that's different. I think it might be the effort. Like, if you if she ain't trying to put in just no effort and just keep getting bigger and bigger and just don't care about herself, mm-hmm. that's one thing. I think then, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you should. But if you want somebody that's in shape, flat stomach, I mean, come on now. Let's just be real. Over half the world is obese. That's just what it is. True. And so, like, if she's trying to put some effort towards it, I get it. She may not be perfect. But, yeah, if she willing to put some effort for it, yeah, stay. But if you just, if that's just your deal breaker, then don't beat yourself up about it. You know what I'm saying? That's what you yep. want. Yeah, just just go ahead and do your thing. Find somebody that doesn't mind being in the gym, that has the close to the physique that you want. Mm. That's my opinion. Kenny, should he should he break up with her because she got that big gut? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Built like What's the real question? Like you saying you wanted to break up with her because she didn't have a flat stomach or because she wasn't working out anymore? She Both. Like a he said that when his homeboy, when he met her, she had the flat stomach. Because that's that's like real high on his choosing list. Phys- and somewhere along the line, she got lazy. Okay, somewhere along the line, she stopped working out. And then he didn't try to offer. He didn't try to say, hey, I'll work out with you. For the past three gym, years. I'll pay for your you know, membership, all that. And mm-hmm. she's like, nah, I'm cool. I leave. Mm. I thought it. You ain't trying to work with me on some situation. That's like me saying, "Hey, like you saying you don't want me uh, uh, physically. What what's something that would be physically wrong for a man to do? Like anything. Like I'm trying to work with you on your physical appearance. Like this is what I like like about you. Yeah. She don't want you fat, and you like, man, fuck all that. Fuck all that. I'm not getting fat. Fuck all that. You don't want me <laughs> jacking off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have text with me? Well, I'm going to jack off because I don't like your fat ass stomach. <laughs> now we got a dilemma. That boy I, I, can't I, I, offered to help, I offered to go to the gym with you. Right. Now you say you're fat. Let's go work out. Let's go do some stuff. Let's, yeah. For your physical health, for our physical health, let's go work out. Let's be together. And I understand, you know, people, you know, women have kids, you know, and their body changes. Right. Ooh, that's understandable. So that's, totally that's, right. that's, that's totally different. That's totally different. That's different. But still, that don't mean you still can't work out after you done having that kid. Oh, yeah, true. I true. Didn't, you I can. Didn't. Yeah, for I, sure. I haven't been in the, in the industry for a minute now. Like it's, it's, that's actually when you should start working out more. Because mm-hmm. your body changes and you start to, you know, your physical appearance start to mess with your mental Capacity, you're like, oh yeah, I don't look good to this man. Your man's like, hey, let's yep. go work out. Let's go do this. Yep. Let's go do this together. Let's build our, our Let's go work on it. If yep. you're not willing to do anything, you're just like, you know what? Oh well, you just got to deal with it. Nah, I'm done. I'm sorry. Thanks. Man, you you know what's crazy about that? Um, is that like men have to be accepting of things like that in mm-hmm. regards to like physical appearance? Say if they woman don't feel like working out, she gains sixty pounds, seventy pounds, something like that. 
he's expected to be understanding mm-hmm. in a situation like that and like you know like not only be understanding but like accept it mm-hmm. accept that that's just part of the game compared to the flip side say for instance you meet a man and he making 30,000 a year but he happy with his job but she want him to make more she's not expected to be understanding that mm-hmm. if he don't want to go get a job making more money if he cool with that that pays all his bills and he cool like if she left him because of that it would be completely understandable. She would be like, she would be like praised for that. You do deserve better. Go get better. But if that man leave her because she didn't gain a hundred pounds and don't want to work out, he a bad guy. He a villain. Mm. And I gave you three years to come to the gym with me, and you just like, hey, and you cool with looking like Emmett Smith. This, this is how I am. You hut hut. <laughs> I see you. I want to say hut hut. <laughs> That's right. No. I gotta play that clip one more time before we leave. No, no I'm not. We not doing you know. that. I'm sorry. We is not. We is not That's doing that, dog. If you met me and I was at you know six pack, twelve pack, or whatever it is, and I just say, you know what, I got you now. Or That's I could, real. I could say, hey, I did, I, when you met me, I was making one hundred twenty thousand a year, mm-hmm. and that was what you like. And I say, you know what, I want to go work at McDonald's. Right. Straight up, forget it. I'm That's cool it. making thirty thousand. You for three years, you like, hey, I, I know I'm happy you working, but I need you to go back to making that one twenty. Mm-hmm. And you have the opportunity to. All you gotta do is put your effort in. You have the opportunity to do it, but she's like, you know what? No, I'm just gonna make thirty thousand. Right. You gonna stay with that? Hell no. It ain't even just about the physical though. It's just the the mental aspect when you work out. You have a clear head. Mm-hmm. Your body, period. You know what I'm saying? Less chance with diabetes and high blood pressure. Yeah, you're healthy. It's a lot of shit that goes into working out. It ain't just about physical appearance. You know what I'm saying? It's just trying to live healthy in general. I ain't trying to have you die at 55 because of high cholesterol. Mm-hmm. Like, if I want you in my life, I want you to be around for a minute. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing people don't understand. Well they don't said. want to get their hair wet. They don't want to sweat. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I, I know where you're going. Don't do that. Come on, come on. You're going to the next one. Oh, you just, <laughs> just want to be lazy. That's what that's you want. That's it. All right. Fat. <laughs> Titties hanging all the way to the ground. Don't <laughs> oh, let me stop. <laughs> Shit. Okay, man. Next one. This is from Chelsea, Patreon member. Chelsea, no, no, Chelsea, yeah. Chelsea say my question is a little heavy this week. Say, what are y'all true thoughts on colorism in the black community regarding the women, and do y'all think men will play a role in that? I ain't answering this question. Y'all got. I feel why you ain't asking. So Kenny T, like being light skinned in this community, like do you feel like they're privileges? Oh, you don't. Y'all that. Oh, you don't want to answer. I ain't answering this question. Wait, that's what that Kenny. My boy hate these guys hey. questions. Nah, I hate them too. That's but real. She, hey, he hey. hate these. We questions, gotta talk about the real. It's real because every time I say something, people don't agree with it mm-hmm. until you sit there and you see it. If if you paying attention, you see it. It happens to me all the time. It happens to everybody. It. The same situation happened to me at Matt's house when we was playing cards. Yes. Literally. Naturally. It happened to me. Nobody talked about nobody else's skin tone except for whose. Matt, tell me who who whose skin tone was brought up the whole Kenny, time. But that's one thing though. That's a that's, that's a skin not tone. this is the It's a skin that's tone. That's colorism though. It is that's it colorism. Is. It is. But what what disadvantage do you have from somebody calling you light skin though? In the black community? What disadvantage do In you have? In the black community? Perception. My perception of being soft. I'm light skinned. I'm I'm but not aggressive. You? But are I, you? Or no, it's not. It's, it's not. It doesn't are, matter. Are Am I? It's, soft, it's, baby. It's, it's still the same thing, right? Are you the, regardless soft. of the, regardless of how I am? It's still how people perceive me, but right. how you look at me. But it's not you. It's not me. But it's it's still how y'all look at me, right? No. All right, that's not how question. I look at you. I don't look at you like I'm gonna say it. Soft, I'm gonna say it. Don't mean I'm gonna believe it. This is what he's saying. He's saying like perception is everything. It's just like smooth. Smooth has said this before. Whenever I walk into a corporate place or I walk into a business place, me being dark skinned, I'm automatically assumed to be aggressive. Mm-hmm. I'm automatically assumed to be ignorant. I'm automatically assumed to be stupid. But then I mean, he- does that does that affect you? Yes, it fucks with your psyche. Like you, that shouldn't be the case. You should be able to look at me, and especially black people amongst black people, we should be able to look at each other and understand. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we both black. We both struggle with shit. Mm-hmm. It, but- it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that's not the case. Uh-huh. Light skinned people are looked at like they got it easier than yeah. black folks. And you know what's crazy with the women, man? They they attribute that to to they they tie their skin tone to their success, so to speak. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because well, I mean, it. I mean, I think it's the opposite effect for women. What? I think it's the opposite effect for skin tone. I think the black women are look more as masculine and and oh yeah yeah for and, sure and for sure know, turned on more than. For light skinned women For sure But but 
I think light skinned women get more opportunity. Like white light skinned women are assumed to be the idea of what beauty is. Yeah, that's why they get more opportunities in commercials and movies and different things. Like if you, you, you know what I'm saying, if you and, and look at the head role, typically it's a light skinned girl. It's the whole typically. world part. Are we talking about in the black community? or Are we talking about in like society as a whole world? Oh, I think we're saying black, I mean, com- she, black community. She uses yeah, yeah, yeah. The black community. Black community. Same thing. Black community. It's the same thing, though. It's not. It translates from the world to us. It's the same because light skinned people are looked at almost like as the white of the group in a sense. Like okay. almost in the black almost, community, light skinned people are looked at. As intimidating and a X factor and privilege, uh, privilege. Yeah, I wouldn't, so. I wouldn't say X factor, but definitely privilege. I wouldn't say X factor though. Like whenever light skinned person walks into a room with black people, they are the main choice of conflict or jokes. That's true. Or whatever. But light skinned people true. also have but more I'm sending opportunities. Your light-skinned ass in, in the, the black, black community, the do they have more opportunities? I'm sending your light skin. We talking about the bubble. To go make. We talking about in the black community. Society. Not talking about society. We talking about in the black community. I still think so. In the black community, I'm sending Kenny so. light skinned ass in there to make the deal. That's just real. Because niggas gonna fear me in there. Wait, you sound off the rip before I say a word. In a black in a black in a black community, yes. Me and you walk into a room, yes. Black men are gonna fear you, yes. They gonna fear me in there. Throw my phone off the goddamn camera. Why would they fear you, Kenny? Why are you in the black community? Why is another black man gonna feel another black man? He gonna fear. He gonna. He gonna, he, he <laughs> That's gonna what it is? Nah, he. L- l- let me what? explain it. Let me explain it. He gonna fear Kenny for the same reason that he would fear a white man if he walked in the room. Come on, man. That's why. That don't make no. Which, that which don't make what? no sense. You just bro. said uh, if it's if 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 wait 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 if it's a room full of black folks and a white person walk in the room. That's why he's saying that's me, why he would to, that's to why make I'm a deal to make a deal right, right. to make the deal happen. Right, but 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 he ain't but he ain't talking about business. He's talking about just in general. There's a room full of niggas in a room. We we in we in here uh-huh. kicking it. Not us, but it's it's niggas in here kicking it. Mm-hmm. Five, ten niggas, whatever. Mm-hmm. White dude walk in the room, niggas gonna sit up, niggas that's gonna button up a little bit, do a little, you know what I'm saying? Compared to if you walk in the room, oh we just we just, we just chilling. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Because you are intimidated by that white man. You are. You won't like it, it's not a it, a physical thing. Yeah, it's a okay. I got to button shit up for this. He's and you just said light skinned folks are the white people of black people. Essentially, that's how they treat it. That's how they viewed. So if that's the view, then you would be intimidated by him. That's what he's saying. But not yeah. feared. No, nah, I mean, but uh, I mean, but essentially, so it saying, is though. So you're saying okay? So you saying well, yeah, if Kenny want to walk in the room? You're saying if Kenny want to walk in the room, if, they if, want him to button if up. If I walk we, in, we would need to button up. Nah, if, 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 if I had if, to walk in a room to prove myself every single time, I'm already at a disadvantage. Period. But everybody does. It's yeah. just like this. I, it's just I, like this. I'm not gonna say you're at a disadvantage because I wouldn't say it's a disadvantage. I'm not. I wouldn't say. Don't you know why I wouldn't say it's a disadvantage for you? Because you know that, so you should be at the top of your game. It's only a different a disadvantage <laughs> because if, if I'm walking in the room and I know if I'm walking in a room full of white people, I already know they thinking something else of me. So I'm at the top of my motherfucking game, no matter who in there. You get what I'm saying? I got to be. You I can't yourself. afford I, I see not that. You, to be. You know yourself. You, you get what I'm saying? Yourself. That's why I'm saying so with matter. you in the black community. You know they're going, you know what I'm saying? It, it's something crazy them niggas thinking. So you got to be at the top of your game, correct? So what you're telling me, you're still not at a disadvantage whenever you go into a white company. Huh? And you got to prove yourself. Yeah. I'm at a disadvantage, but at the same time, myself, I'm at the top of my motherfucking But are game. you at a disadvantage? I'm at a, yeah, you, okay. you can always play at the different advantage. Whatever, whatever you, but whatever you say from no here on out, for you don't, not to be at the top of your game, I didn't right? say I wasn't at the top of the game. I just said I'm still at a disadvantage. Okay, correct? but and with you being at that disadvantage in your head, you know you got to be at the top of your game, I right? Could, I could be So at that's an that. advantage for you. I could Reason be being is this, though. But, but wait, wait, wait. Let, 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 let me explain it. The, the disadvantage comes here. We spoke earlier about having to prove yourself. Yeah. Right? He has to prove himself to both sides. You don't have to prove yourself to the black folks. When you walk in the room with the black folks, you are accepted. You, you are, are one black. of us. He walks in the room with the black folks. He's the white folks of black folks. He walk in the room with the white folks. He's black. He has to prove himself on both sides. That's what he means by. But that's the society. I'm talking about just the black community. Think, we talking about just in the yeah, black community. Just in the black community. Still, community. as a black, just a regular. I mean, you don't want to. You want to come off. I, you know, I'm not a thug. I know how to articulate right. my words. I think that's just across the board in general. So everybody still got to prove themselves. The only difference is, is are you soft or not? That's really the only thing. Kenny. No, no. The only yes, difference is. is, are you black or are you white? I, That's I did, the difference. I didn't take it that way. I took it as, because no, like no, we no, said, no, we no. call you light-skinned, so they assume you soft. You said you just ha- had that happen at, at Smooth Place. All I, The only thing I see is, are you weak or are you strong enough to hang with the group? 
That's the only way hey, I see it. That's, that's, see, the thing is this, though. And it's wrong. The thing is this, though. Why, why does he even have to prove that at all? Kenny, I don't know. We all black. Because hey, lighter, right. that's the thing. Or, or, or seen as weaker. That's that's, that's what it is. That's why is For that, some reason. I don't know. That's the that's. I don't know. I can't I can't say. But it's a disadvantage. Because I ain't saying it's true. So what so what I'm saying is right. We still have it harder in the black community than black brothers do. I still don't see it as hard though. How is that not hard because when, you, when even, you are always trying to prove yourself? How because, is that not hard when because, you never have to prove yourself and when you do have to prove it? How is that not hard? Because even as a darker skinned person, you still have to prove yourself that you're not a thug, that you can't articulate yourself, that I you're not I, just robbing people out here. Not amongst, time, not amongst black folks. Not amongst black folks. Amongst black folks, oh, come yes. On, dog. Uh, I don't, I don't, come on, I don't know about that one. Amongst come black on. people? Nah. Come on. Nah. Come on if, if, if we all black in here and a nigga walk in and look like me, I'm not just going to automatically assume he's anything. You going but you're not gonna size him up a little bit. I'm gonna size everybody up. But 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 him walking in and looking like me, I'm gonna size him up less than I would this well, light skin nigga. On Who how is this light skin nigga walking in here? I guess it depends on how he's dressed. Is he is he police? Is he fit? Is he? You know, we done all been in in hood situations. <laughs> nigga if, walk in a little too square, a little too corn. Who is this nigga? Again, I let think me button up, make sure. So, let me, you know, what I'm saying, let me. Let me it comes let me, down let me, to the let me person. Hide if my we, shit. If we walk in, if we walk in looking the, if we walk in dressed the same exact way. But we are different skin tones. I guarantee you, I have to prove myself more than that black man would. That's true, though. That's, that's I true. You, I is. feel you, but you're gonna have to prove yourself. I, don't but know. I still don't see it as. A, you, <laughs> How is that a, not a disadvantage not when a, you have to prove yourself? When you are when you walk in, you are accepted because you. And, and because time out, man. Look, look, Otis. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. When you walk into a room, you are accepted with open arms. When I walk into a room, I am looked at. At a disadvantage, I am looked at like, "Hey, I don't, I can't trust this guy. I don't know what he is. I don't okay. know what he's doing." And that's my disadvantage. Okay, but that's, after that, then what? It's not. We're not talking about afterwards. We're yeah. talking about first impression. You have to you take that into consideration. Oh, uh, the this. initial, the initial factor. Okay, I get, I get what you're saying. But after that, light skinned people in general just have more opportunities. You mean as far as like getting and black getting, community, getting, that's getting, getting jobs, that's getting jobs in the black chose. community, in the black community, Kenny. Throw it, throw it away. Throw in the away. black community, <laughs> that's just facts. <laughs> Initially, yes, I get what you're saying, hundred percent. You are not wrong at all. Well, when people first see you, <laughs> when people first see you, you going you gonna get it. In the yes. black community, with this dark skin of mine, that's just this, what it is. With this real dark skin of mine, niggas look at me like I steal. But you that's why I'm saying like he gonna rob, like he's gonna. Damn lie. In the black community, in the black hey, community, man, get the, because hey, you know dog, how black people are. That, hey, get out of here. Dog. So, 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 so I'm hold on, hold on. I'm not talking about all black people are good. So you saying all black people good? You're not saying you're not saying that the crime rate is high with black on black crime. It is high. I'm talking about it with me, high, but that's that's black on black crime. I'm that's niggas. Me. That's black people. That's just us so, in general. Hey, you know, it don't matter the skin tone. Me. Light people shooting dark people. Dark people shooting light people. It's just that's, what okay. it is. Correct. At it's, the beginning, I'm at a disadvantage. And it's, it's the minute you open your mouth and articulate yourself, and they can see that you carry yourself. All that shit goes away. Cool. And if you can do the same thing as a black man, we're <laughs> we're the same. But I have to prove myself that I'm the same as this man. Init, right off the bat, yes, you do, Kenny. Yes, you said balances out. That's all I'm saying. Because after the fact, you get a lot. Out. There's a lot of upside with the skin tone. That's just what it is. But she asks for black women, so we talk about true. black men. So uh, yeah, her, yeah, her, her stuff for I black women, colorism definitely play a role. I can't play a role, and they it, it, it play their role in their position jobs that they're gonna get. It play a role in how how high they can go in their career with 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 ease. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? God damn it! It play a role in in the black society. It does. You get what I'm yeah, saying? As far as who gets chose more, oh, exactly. I mean, because that, that's just honest. Light, light skinned women get get chose more. That's, that's a saying? fact. We ain't gonna so, sit here and lie about that. that that's that, fact. Exactly. So all that plays a role in that shit. And if you a light skinned woman and you look great, and and you got uh, you got a head on your shoulders. You can go sit on that board somewhere, somewhere. If you pushing like that, you can go. You can shoot for the board of Amazon or some shit. A dark skinned woman you for you to push pleasing. for that board. Amazon is not owned by a black man. No, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying she can go sit on the board. But she can go sit on the board. Not, that's not black community because she could be the face. Stay in the black community. That y'all keep okay, on okay. outside the black. Okay, community. oh, oh goddamn! If it was a black, what's a black owned company? A big black owned no company. It ain't, it ain't a lot of them. And then a lot of them. So what's a, what's a real big black owned company? I have They're no going to be adverse of putting this light-skinned woman 
as the 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 the, the clerk or over directors and all, all this type of shit. When you because, walk in, because you're gonna see because they know who they're gonna be dealing with. The, She's aesthetically pleased. The person at the desk that's working the desk gonna be an attractive person. She may not be the smart. She may not be smarter than this black woman. The this person woman in the person know. in HR is what gonna be a darker skin, gonna be more aggressive, gonna be firm, overweight sometimes. Like that's. In those in those positions, that's just real. In HR, those powerful positions that make the rules, you got to follow the rules. That's the type of woman they hire in in that in that position. I'm telling in that you, that I don't I don't know. I can't say that's facts or lies. Cause I've been I've been around several I places, and every HR, eighty percent of HR people I've seen have been black and a certain color, and it ain't like yeah. About to give me some more heat for this topic anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Like, so yeah, it plays gotta, a big role yeah, in this. You got it's your just, thing. Hey, you got to be comfortable in yourself, man. Mm-hmm. I think be that's comfortable. What in yourself Well said On to the last one uh, This is from Christina Patreon member okay. uh, she, she didn't She didn't ask my question today uh, Say what's up fellas Got a question for you Knowing how you feel About long distance relationships If the woman you're in a relationship with Decided to work out of the country For over a year Or two In order to stack up paper Could you handle the distance? No <laughs> Physically tough. No No hey. That's she tough. had to work out the country to stack up paper for you for two years, a year or two years. Can we can we have an open relationship? Because at the same time, you're gonna be out there too, dickless. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real, and the fellas know this. You can do it. <laughs> I know where you go. <laughs> you can do it. I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. But your man, man jack it off. Your man gotta be at work. I, I ain't even had that type of time. I was at work. I know. I no, like, you gotta be the yo man. Yo, you better no. show yo man. Matt, don't get on here lying on his mic, dog. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. You're in an anomaly. I know okay, I'm an anomaly. Okay, no, okay. okay. Likelihood on a, on a scale of hundred percent, zero to hundred percent. Give me a, give me a likelihood. The likelihood that it's gonna survive. of that being that's gonna survive. One to ten. One to ten. Hundred percent. One to ten. Yo, girl, not your not your wife. Yo, girl. My girlfriend. Your girlfriend. 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 We over with. <laughs> exactly. As soon as you made that decision, we over with. Exactly. We over with marriage. Okay, that's a different story. Right. Yeah. But okay. girlfriend or boyfriend, we uh, over with. We done. It's a lot. It's a lot. Come back. Come back when you're done. It's a lot of shit. Two years? Nah, nah. nah. I can see if you go off for like three months because you got a job. Something. Look, I got. I got something to do right here. Woo, 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 woo. That's mm-hmm. different. That's totally different. Two years. Mm-hmm. Is different. Two years. 24, Two years. Twenty four months. Mm-mm. That's a long time. Two bro. years. That is a long. And you, time. my girlfriend. Baby, seven hundred thirty days. I'm sorry. <laughs> She said what? That's a long that's time. 730 days? No. 765, that's 720 days. Something like 20-something days. Something like that. 30, I'm, I'm sorry, baby. 730. 730. 730. Carry the one. Christina. No, it is 730. 730. 730. God damn. Hey, I can't imagine no. 730. No. I can't no jack sex, off enough. No, no. <laughs> Christina. No. That's crazy. Christina, if you not catching that flight every chance you fucking get, I care less what time it is. Every chance you get. That's an expensive flight. You, exactly. Expensive, expensive every, flight. That, that's got to be at least every three months. Yeah, if you're not <laughs> catching that. that flight, it's over. It ended. You, you might as well look. He got to go and you got to go. Hey, you're a great man. You're a great woman. Look, if we can meet back up after these two years and mm-hmm. be single again, we can pick up where we left off. Right. I can see a woman going, that's you know, insane. a year. That's a, a year, woman. A year and a half without man. sex. But a man going a year and a half without sex? Insane. And that's just a that's year a and a half. Whole, that's a whole lot right. of commitment. That's a whole lot of commitment for a boyfriend. We complain about a week. That's a whole lot of commitment <laughs> for a boyfriend. Remember that. Remember what you asking him. Remember, you I, you 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 chose to leave for two years. That's over with. He in a city that loves him. Come on, baby. You gotta have an agreement. Hey, you go out. You know, you want to have sex with somebody. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Just right. don't let me know. Just don't don't have tell no me kids about it. You know? Be right. safe. Don't tell me about it. Don't have no kids on me. Send if me you the, if you comfortable with setting that type of kids. rule up, <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, you you already know my answer to this. I'm starkly <laughs> against it. Uh, zero tolerance policy. If you moving overseas, we moving overseas. Right. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Or if you know I can't move overseas, then look, we gonna have to break up. And you know, uh, God willing, since we just spoke about God a lot on this part, uh, God will bring us back around together. <laughs> <laughs> when you get back, I won't be single. You know, I'll be single. I won't have you know. That made no. He kids. said I won't be single. <laughs> uh, it won't be. But you know, at the end of the day, like that is a lot to put on somebody, and especially men. Men are physical creatures. Like women can go years without sex and be straight. Men not so much. Men are physical creatures. We need to touch you. We need to feel on you. We need to grab you. We need to have sex. So, twenty four months, seven hundred and thirty days without it. 
is ridiculous. And I and I'm gonna just be honest, he's gonna cheat. If you're not able to get back, just like Kenny said, every three months or something like that, you know, a decent amount of time, he's gonna cheat. So if you're gonna do that, work that into the agreement to where it's not cheating. If you're giving him hall passes or whatever and you're doing the same, you're giving you hall passes. But y'all are human beings. It's not healthy to be apart for that long. And that's just my opinion on that. It just is what it is. Uh, but Facts. anybody in that situation, man, uh, you know, good luck, man. God, uh, through God, all things is possible. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> through Christ who strengthens me. Stop it. <laughs> and on that note, man, we gonna wrap this thing on up, man. Y'all boys, shout out to all social media. Childish. KT underscore Goodrich, all platform. <laughs> SMUV <laughs> underscore underscore all platforms. Follow me on Clubhouse. Smooth on Clubhouse. No underscores. Get out. God damn, whose phone keeps going off? It ain't mine. No, is that shit? It's old phone. Wow. D- wow. <laughs> Nigga, acknowledge it. Me earlier. Click it and acknowledge it. Damn, it wasn't me earlier. My shit turned up. Uh, so well underscore fitness, all platforms. Um, shout out to S5 Podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, also, prayers up to my boy Charles. You know what I'm saying? Um, What's going on with y'all? I'll let you know. Ah. But uh, yeah, shout out to my bro. Um, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Detroit AC, everywhere, man. You know what the hell going on. Twitter, Instagram, uh, follow the crew season page, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Uh, YouTube, we have bad news, just like we said uh, on the YouTube live earlier. Oh, From yeah. this point forward, the full video would not be on YouTube. If you want to watch the full video, subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com backslash crew season. You need to be signed up. Uh, we're going to go create a new tier immediately after this part is over. Two dollars. It's going to be two dollars a month if you want to see the full video. Now the streaming will be available just like Anything. it's always been. Yep. Apple, Spotify, Google, everywhere you can go stream it uh, for free. But if you want to see the full video, you have to be a Patreon member. Just what it is. Now we will be uploading clips to YouTube, 15, 20 minute clips here there, maybe one two a week, depending on how I'm feeling. I'm thinking more like two. Um, one. I mean, give them two. Uh, two. Two. You know what I'm saying? But you know, at the, the at the at the at the end of the day, uh, I don't need this is gonna be a change. If y'all rock with us and y'all want to see the full videos, go subscribe to the Patreon. Um, but uh, yeah, speaking of, shout out Patreon members. <laughs> um, again, Kennesaw State, it was love. It was love, man. We uh we definitely want to come out there and rock with y'all again, man. Sometime soon. So uh, you know, we Thanks. gonna we gonna we gonna keep y'all posted. Thanks. on that. Come and back. If y'all boys ain't got nothing left to say, we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing on up. Y'all good? Any last words? Shh, that's it. Shit. So, well, uh, the S5 podcast, we on like episode 35, something like that. You know Congratulations. So we, we got, we, we if they freestyle and don't listen, it's trash. It's better than yours. <laughs> you know why? Because it's non existent. Oh, my God.